5150 Scan presents the Entanglement Kit. When you get that call to stop over from that special person who ain't tripping on social distancing in no way, we have prepared for you the Entanglement Kit. It has all the products you need to leave the presence of the side chick or ladies, the guy whose family you don't know for reals, in a clean manner. No more not prepared to wash up days for you fellas. And ladies, no more leaking unnecessarily as you drive home to your loved ones. The entanglement kit will be on deck in your car or backpack or even your Gucci bag, ladies, to get you presentable for the next soul you encounter. Also, all products in the entanglement kit are plant-based. No more harsh chemicals on your body creating cancers and bumps that stop folks from being happy about giving you head. So what are you waiting for? Order your entanglement kit today. Come home clean to the fools that believe in you. Everyone deserves that. Entanglement kit, so you're clean and shit. Wash up, Jada, you bitch. Stop being so sensitive, bitch. <laughs> Ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titties done. Is Trina there? Trina. World, are y'all ready? When this sound begin, we about to go in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing, we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch, yeah. You ain't never seen a show like this. Ghetto folks gon' be all in their bliss. Trying to make you laugh until you kiss, yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this. It's on. It's on I'm about to say some real things Rip the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Short in it. I bet it got a short in it. Uh -oh. Y'all got to get a new cord. Test it, test it. We good? Hey, pink than a motherfucker running around this motherfucker. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh my God. What's up with your mic? Uh, do you need some Viagra? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, you, mate. But Shannon you know Sharp. That though, Corey, you know, recognize One, yeah, three. I be wow. fucked up like that sometimes too, goddammit. Unless that pussy got that snot wet to it. Uh -oh. But look here. I am Corey Holcomb, Darlene OGOTs. You know Marcus with another suit on from somewhere. <laughs> In the motherfucking house. Craig facts hey. in this bitch. God! You dig what I'm saying? Somebody say, we on? You good? Can I hear? You, you good? good? You can hear me right, eh? Yeah. So we straight, goddammit. It'll catch up with you. Your internet's slow. That's why you ain't caught on to us. Because we fucked up in the beginning. Cord fund, the first one he gave four ninety nine. We showed appreciated, bro. Wow, yes. 
all them cash apps and all them motherfucking licks like this, after them people who run the check get through taking their motherfucking lick, it still add up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, what's, your, what's your cash app, Marcus? Uh, Marcus, M-A-A-A-C-U-S. What's your cash app, Craig? A dollar sign bully foot. Dollar sign bully <laughs> foot. D, what's your cash app? Uh, Darlene O.G. Ortiz. Thank you, uh, Demond. I said, yeah, hey, man, y'all motherfuckers, dog, whenever y'all pass them little licks, see, this is why it helps so much. Even if you don't give us nothing but a dollar, it's so many of y'all who fuck with us, man. We appreciate y'all, man. Very y'all much, like very much. doing these shows. See, we produce our shows. We ain't like them bootleg motherfuckers who sit at home and take your show and then chop up your show and then try to get money off your show. That's fuck shit, nigga. But it's gonna be done by fuck niggas. So that's all I'm saying. Motherfucker, take your whole production that you got to spend money to make Real and shit. run with it and act like they're your friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was doing you a favor. He don't do me no favors, mm-hmm. nigga. I don't need no favors. But we been a, we finna just go in on the one broad. Cause this broad, in my opinion, is the average black woman. God! <laughs> Her name is Ebony K. Williams. Oh my God. What, you know her? <laughs> I know. A lot of people on the internet know her. Now, you didn't know her before, did you? You ain't know that bitch. But Thank you, James. The bitch said the truth of how she feel. Do you get this? Did y'all don't miss this. The woman said the truth of how she feel. And what is that? And got fallout. Because this is what she said. The Iyana Van Sant lady, who is very intelligent, just listened to the bitch hang herself. Then she asked her, would you date a bus driver? I don't know if I sound like Iyana Van Sant. <laughs> Let me try to do my Iyana Van Sant shit. Uh, you know how she sound, Marcus? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, you don't she know how always she sound like she just came. She just she, oh she got that sultry. <laughs> what? Chris, like that sound like she just came. She just came, like so, five seconds after the night. Right, five seconds. Yeah. Would you date a bus driver? <laughs> 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 no, no. Craig shit is accurate. Yeah, she yeah. sound like she just came and she recovering. Like yeah. normally she'll be like, would you get me a rag? <laughs> <laughs> Wipe me off. Right. Instead, she said, would you date a bus driver? I like her. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what's crazy about this story? Well, go ahead. Her mother is a bus driver. The girl? Uh, Ebony Williams grew up in a single single parent home. Her mother was a bus driver. So listen to what she said as Yana Van Sant answered that question. She, her response was... If he drives the bus, I mean, if he owns the bus. What? Now, it ain't nothing wrong with the bitch no, said. That's her, that's bitch, look, thing. you hustle men. That's what you do. This one it start going even worse. Because when she said, if he owns the bus, there was a lot of people saying, they was writing in saying, oh, you bogus for even saying that and thinking like that. 50,000 people. Right, 50,000 people did. So she tried to clean it up. And how could you do that? She doubled down on that bitch. Everything she said dug her deeper in the hole. She started talking about everybody and what everybody else is settling for and talking about, oh, that's, um, basically she said, that's white supremacy if you settle for a bus driver. That's basically wow. what she said. What? That's basically what she said. Hmm. I got to say something about it. Listen, Ebony. First of all, it was a lot of people caking for you. Oh, she didn't mean it like that. Y'all stop caping, stop caping for her, man. She meant what she said. And what proves that she meant what she said, because everything she said after that ain't do nothing but say something even worse. Mm. A bus driver in the United States of America is a boss in most communities. 100 grand a year if you're a full-time bus driver. Yeah. That's a boss in yeah. most communities. Yeah, that's a good Anybody job. got no money? Medical coverage for the whole family, everything. I'm yeah. talking about the people. The people that everybody looked down on. Ain't nobody. That's a glamorized picture of her. Yeah. I seen yeah. how that bitch look at the breakfast club. She don't look like that. That's a made up picture of her. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Kevin Samuels, 
is speaking from the grave on these hoes. Mm -hmm. Them hoes talk shit about him when he died, all them raggedy bitches. But he, his message still is relevant even more today because that bitch ain't said nothing about love. Man. Every answer she said was about something else but love. Yeah. The bitch ain't got no love in her heart. She the don't bitch want pointing it, at obviously. everybody. Yeah, she don't want love. She ain't said nothing about a nigga curse. Dee, like say it again. Uh, if she didn't say anything about love, she doesn't want it. She don't want love. Sounds like she wants some sort of security and doesn't care how it goes down. That's this, how I look at those women that use those old men. This type it's of like, woman. What are you getting down? You know you don't care for that man. Yeah. The moment that they really need the true looking after, they out the door. It's all about money. And if that man, yeah. What'd you say, Craig? So this, yeah, type of, this type of woman is incapable of love. She was raised in a single parent household. Her mother is a bus driver. And look what she thinks about bus drivers. This is a woman that hates women. She's putting off how she feels about her mother on men. There's a such thing as a diagnosis called parentification that some kids suffer for, from. When they come from single parent homes, a lot of times the mother has to put more pressure on the child by giving them adult responsibilities. And that causes, it causes them to hold resentment towards the parent. This is clearly a woman that hates women, and she's using men as a scapegoat mm. because her that? mother, like you say, ran her father off, which in turn put her mother in a position position where she had less time to spend with her because she had to drive buses. Hence, she hates bus drivers. So this is a situation where she's doomed. She doesn't know how to love. She views things as being valuable and not people, and that's why she keeps talking about material things like money. Love and, and how money. everybody else is fucking up. Exactly. Marcus, go ahead. I know you want to say something, bro. Yeah, um, I think I feel like some people uh raised on struggle and not love. They they don't and when you raised on struggle and a lot of love, that's what you put your uh that's what you feel is, is value. Everything materialistic. That's 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 value to you. So yeah, when you see well, most people, most people that most people that was raised on I, I didn't say everybody did. No, but most you said raised on struggle. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Most Go people that raised on struggle feel that way. They feel like since that there was there was lack of, so in order to make up for that lack of, that's what they see in other people, and then they don't care about character and shit like that. So they'll let motherfucker do them any kind of way or whatever, just cause that's what they looking for. That's what that's the that's the main goal. You know what I'm saying? They want wealth. This, this, but 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 trust me, brother. The struggle is beautiful. Yeah. She, I wouldn't take back an ounce from my childhood. I remember when my mama stretched that welfare check that whole month. And it's very hard to stretch a welfare check for a whole month man. when you got hungry, healthy kids. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. The struggle is beautiful. The struggle made me who I am today. Me too. You know great. what I'm saying? Because yeah. I see what happened to rich kids. Yeah. They all grow up to be drug addicts for the most part. Mm. <laughs> they grow up to be real fuck motherfuckers. People yeah. who grew up rich. Yeah. People used to make fun of me when I where I sent ice to school. Yeah, Shit. over there to that rich school. What do you mean? I'm saying at one time he went to the rich school with the yeah. rich kids, right? No, if you call that rich, no. But it was an all it was in the hood, all black. I just had to have him Damn, have some flavor. Like it was like I, mean, I can't have him around all this because he was already in that neighborhood. Where I'm we like live. Marcus today. Am I yeah. wet under the arm yet? Sure. Now you wet under the neck. You you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot as hell, dog. Is it just me? No, it's your fat sweating. <laughs> Marcus, yeah. stop. You got on a suit. Yeah, I can feel the heat. Look out, did you, yeah. did you see what he did? Look, no. he said. Yeah, he kept it tight. Oh, God, I pack, I God pack damn in his it. <laughs> I can feel the heat. Your body his, wet all the way <laughs> through, <laughs> boy. Your dick been. smell like LeBron's after the game. <laughs> <laughs> You look like a fat I, LeBron in the face, though. You know what I'm saying? I look like LeBron. I look like Dr. Uma. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, your crater face ass. But here, yeah. though, back to hunger. But at the end of the day, if she would have actually stuck to her, stuck to it, and just kept it G yeah. and been like, it's that's almost what I'm like, saying. It's just admit like you, you hustle men. You are you a man hustler, bitch. You looking for the man who can come to you with man? Let me tell you something, man. I am a motherfucker who is fortunate enough to get some information from some dope people. And I want to tell y'all what I saw in this motherfucking text 
This motherfucking text right here, you got to listen to this. Many women nowadays aren't looking for a husband. They're looking for a father replacement. And like children, their needs are all consuming. Oh, How wow. deep is that? You bitches don't want no man. You want a sucker. Because that's what a dad is for his kids. I ain't going to lie. For your kids, you be a sucker. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know your baby ain't going to grow up shit after you see the bitch you had it with. Yeah. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers, look. Women have no idea how many of them ain't shit. That's all I'm saying. They, they got no clue. They don't even know they ain't shit. Man. Even though if you look at the family they raised, they will sway up and down. It's somebody else's fault. My family is like this. <laughs> Some women will never blow a kiss and it smell like a real nigga's dick. God. Damn, Craig. That's, oh, don't make it so bad. It, it sounds like it ain't deep, but it's actually deep. What they what they kiss smell like? I mean, that street smell like juice. It smell like Dookie. It's just, it's yeah. a, it's like fucking, little homie wins. Like, like, you fucking like, boxing. Like little homie wins. Like, you'll never fuck that with the nigga mark, said bitch. Bitches' breath smell like little homie wind. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that's brilliant. Fucking bitch. bisexual <laughs> nigga. It smell like <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fuck is, y'all who said I look like Oliver Miller. How come they Oliver Miller? Oh, so, so, uh, is it a fan in this motherfucker? Yeah, I will take this today. shit off. I don't know why it is. It's warm. Why I get naked in this motherfucker? No. <laughs> I done did it before, I, I do it again. <laughs> you like born and took his head off. Oh <laughs> <my God. laughs> you don't get that swimsuit the fuck out of here, nigga. You wet, nigga. You it is holding them arms close to you. <laughs> it is chilly nigga, your outside, ribs though. be hurting after yeah, show. That nigga, his, that nigga ribs be like, damn, boy. Fucking yeah. fucking let him see it. This nigga got a job interview at the deep end of the pool. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, he the pool, God, God, he right? the pool <laughs> cleaner supervisor. Oh, I can't. Now, Abe coming with this little pussy ass face. Abe's by himself. Abe by himself tonight. Phil, Phil is over there chilling. Now, he on some Malcolm X pussy right now. <laughs> so you plug it up with that shit, it's going to fuck up the candy camera. No, I'm just saying. Oh, fucking with your ass. Yeah, Abe's by himself. Let's see what happens. That little weak ass fan ain't going to do shit. Put no, it on high. I bet you Will Phil is going to do it. You'll feel it? Yeah, I'm sure he will. Yeah, 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 that motherfucking little pussy ass fan. But anyway, I had to get on old girl, man. Old girl was, I was like, look at this bitch trying to clean this shit up. Man. Just stand on it, bitch. Uh, stand on it. There you go. That's what I was saying. Just, That's just hold. Crazy. I, you would have like a, a, started, a, how you say, a twisted kind of respect. Disrespecting uh, people Work. with me in your jobs, then. Blue she disrespect collar. everybody. Yeah. Everybody blue collar. Only people she motherfucking giving propers to is people who found a way to get some big money. So well, basically, you ain't shit, bitch. Yeah. yeah now they're gonna be looking at uh, how you say, looking out for her. Like, oh, here she come. She yeah. just want, she Fuck y'all, Marcus Majors. That nigga say I sweat duck grease. <laughs> Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Ooh, I feel it. Look, it's giving me that Beyonce feel. <sighs> Marcus, you might be able to raise your arms at the end <laughs> of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that feels good. That nigga fat. This is with Crisco. Fat ass. The cold thing is, this is how most women feel. Huh? This is how eighty percent of women feel. Oh yeah, raised in America, cause they're not raised right. Right. That single mom shit means something, dog. Single moms have failed the nation. Ooh, Corey said that single moms <laughs> have me. led their families into a burning building. Literally, they've marched the kids down to the school to get all kinds of shots. They made their husband get shots. They left the dude that they said that what they were, let's get this apartment to get, get out, call the police on him. This I'm I'm saying like, if your family was raised by a mom and she found a way to pull it off, congratulations. But what I'm saying is, if you look at the condition most of these families is in, listen, somebody told me this, and I know this to be true. Your kitchen is supposed to be your hospital for your family. How, what kind of hospital mm, your like mama that. gave you? Little babies eating McDonald's fries all week. Mm. I like that, that's a cold saying right there. It's the truth, your kitchen it's is supposed, supposed to be, be the hospital for your family. Your family is strong and healthy because of your kitchen. How many bitches can say that? Mm. Yeah. Who, who, you know, who you know that makes sure they take care of their family? I'm not saying there's none who don't. Right. But I'm saying most 
situations in America, your family is raised off garbage. Your kitchen is full of little Debbies and motherfucking. <laughs> a lot of bitch kitchens is for decoration. Them bitches don't even go in now. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, Marcus. Gotta, I'm just you saying. Gotta, you judge a family by the back teeth. That nigga's stupid. Oh, uh, yeah, Corey yeah, got them little back yeah, teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga looking in my teeth. mouth. <laughs> That's awful close now, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you saying, you got big back teeth, Marcus? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> well, it don't matter how big your back teeth is, it's swimming pools under your arm, nigga. <laughs> Splash. Kendrick, Lamar, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar did a whole CD based on your motherfucking arm <laughs> swimming pools. And they got dumb nose <laughs> in the front, Tic Tacs in the back. <laughs> she don't have a shot, man. She's going to be single forever. Who that? Her. Who's uh, her? This bitch Ebony. But that bitch don't give a fuck, dog. Because see, they, they show pictures of her with different types of men. Yeah. And it's just so, it's Was so evident. Dog, if you look look at these pictures on the internet of her with men, yeah, it's embarrassing. Yeah. But she don't know. She think that or what are they talking about? What about what? Do you, you know, like I saw her on the Breakfast Club. Hey man, what's her name again? Homie, what what's my nigga off the what's Breakfast Club name? Uh, Charlemagne. Charlemagne and, and DJ Envy. Y'all was so kind to that funky bitch. DJ Envy tried to tell her something, but she got loud and was cutting him off while he was talking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all, that's why they won't come on my show, because I'm going to chop their ass down if they say some shit like that. Ebony, I ain't going to lie. I want some pussy from you, Ebony. Yeah. Ebony, I want some pussy from you. The, the, the premier walking downstairs. Oh, hey, she's an Got my hey, niggas in the well, house. Man. My nigga <laughs> go back in the house. He look happy today. That's good. Happy, nigga. Yeah, that nigga is. whose shirt matched their motherfucking T-shirt happy as hell. Yeah. The drawers match too? Oh, shoot. You a real nigga, you got on pink drawers. That's Sam. If you got on pink drawers, you a real nigga or the opposite? I believe you a real nigga. <laughs> you know what? They, they, they just <laughs> better not be them, um, they ain't thin drawers, is it? They ain't bikini underwear. <laughs> you better not have on no he pink bikini oh, underwear, nigga. He got the, he got the, go back, y'all. I no, see y'all. What up, y'all? Go back. He ain't got no drawers. Don't on. show me. Don't show me. Do it. Go back. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't do hey, it. he turn around. He gonna look like, uh... <laughs> Well, face of love on there. I'll be asking what kind of age you want in the morning, nigga. Keep going. Oh! He turned around, he like face on that movie. They clown him with Go Mac. Yeah, I, see, I see Baby Fat. <laughs> Go Mac. Hey, you know I love you, boy. Don't tell nobody them drawers match that shirt no more, though. Yeah, on some real nigga shit. You, got, you, Yo, got you some... ain't right if you let that nigga wear drawers like that. You got pussy. Hey man, you hanging with the nigga, dog. You got to check that shit. Man, you can't have pussy pink drawers on, go man. Why are they talking about underwear up in you here? You can wear a pink outfit, but you can't wear pink drawers. Right, TNT. This if you wear pink color, drawers and ain't going down, regularly to a bitch out, something wrong with you. Hey, man, I'm on my queen, nigga. That's, oh, that's right, right. He hey. got a queen. That nigga got seven. Congratulations for the I camera. Way to go. <laughs> Thank you, Lloyd Hinton. Oh my goodness, thank you, Lloyd. I appreciate that. Get your ass out of here, go back. Crazy than fuck. <laughs> Boy, you ain't, uh -oh, gonna, be, you ain't gonna be able to hop two times, nigga. <laughs> you say you ain't gonna hop twice. Love y'all, y'all niggas, y'all niggas. Love, man. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Let me see. No, I'm just fucking with you. Oh, I didn't know she was a lawyer. She was no. a lawyer. Yeah. Is that yeah. the same person? Yeah. So, oh, but she a lawyer. What does that mean? Man, most of them bitches saying, that be I having them high requirements. Name. I didn't even know who it was. I've never even heard the Is name. Is that why y'all didn't get her ass, um, I didn't um, even, um never Charlemagne and, and DJ Envy? Because y'all y'all tried to holler at her, her but her she reversed it on you and act like y'all was attacking her. That's what they do. They right. always act like you attacking them when you try to make a point. DJ Envy was trying to make a point that the people, the blue collar workers of this country come see him and support him. Right. The blue collar workers of this country come see me and support me. I love the people when they come see me. Yeah. 
Fuck a uh, ebony bitch. If you don't, you ain't finna out talk me on my show. That's why I bet you won't come on my show. I would love for you to come on my show and try to make them goof ass exactly. points you made. You for the streets, bitch. Right here. Let it be known. And you know what they gonna say about that? What? He called a bitch. They ain't gonna talk about none of the points we made. Right. Because right. that's what people do. Well, see, man. Man, motherfuckers like that, bitches like that, I ain't got no boss nigga pussy. That pussy, that pussy be trash. If, if all them bitches that be having them high requirements, pussy be trash yeah. every single time. They What's trash been, pussy? Ooh, that motherfucker ain't hit no shit. She be dry. <laughs> it take you forever. No, you just be in that motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. What is, what, first husband. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. What you say, D? Oh, I'm just looking her up because I didn't know anything. You say her. first husband. Uh -huh. It says her first husband right here. She, this type of chick ain't never had nobody take out the garbage for her. Her mama look like a bus driver, though. I ain't gonna lie. I know they gonna say that's wrong, <laughs> but if she wasn't driving yeah. a bus, I'll be like, you out of place. <laughs> she, she, she could be a, nah, she could look. That's the picture they show. She could be a lunch lady. You should see her husband. Show it to him. Who husband? Show the me first, the husband. It says the first husband. Oh, that's wow. the Wow. Oh, it makes sense. She, she a, a white man. She a hustler wow. of men. She's a, she's, she's not for trying to build with. Mm. She for fucking and cussing at. Bitch, I'm going where the fuck I want to go, funky hoe. <laughs> I know women like that. I love talking to them like that. <laughs> I love when their kids come out the room. <laughs> oh, she's, oh, she's also on one of those Real Housewives of New York. Oh, is she? I guess. I'm reading it. I don't know. I had never heard of her. Well, be down. Whoever the bitch is, you, bo you, you bogus for acting like you ain't a bust down. <laughs> That's what make you foul for acting like you about something. You're not about nothing. Well, she probably yeah. one of them bitches that make you wait 90 days to get the pussy and shit. Any bitch that make you wait 90 yeah. days to get you to get some pussy, that pussy is definitely trash. She wants you to fall in love with her first. Just tell yeah, us what the yeah. pussy costs exactly. I need a spreadsheet to know what I got to come with for what I want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stop saying you want a nigga to make 200 grand, 300 grand a year. Just say what hey, the specific service gonna cost me. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, if it's transactional, let's it's make this yeah, transactional. To fuck, 500 to get my dick sucked. No, if you do it like that, she will feel like who she is. Right. She has to act like you wanted her in her mind. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? In order to give you the pussy. But bitch, look, let me tell you something. We real over here. Hey, 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 we, oh, we need you to redo that. Like, um, did it go away? You got it back? All right. No, I'm saying a woman like that, look, no. bottom line, absolutely insane, but people will act like, no, she made a mistake and she misspoke. Because no. I saw people saying that. She did not misspoke. She said what's to the heart. It's just she didn't know the reaction of her heart would come out like this. She if people, if people, people could see some of these bitches' heart, they'll be like, ugh! <laughs> <laughs> Like these bitches' hearts are rotten, like dog. <laughs> Some of these bitches' hearts got snot on them. Man, <laughs> these, right. It's <laughs> snot hearted. You know what, really, when women oh, speak bro, like this, like, they you. really are. They hearts smell like them drawers Go Mac got on. <laughs> <laughs> She's really I'm talking with. like that because she really secretly want her father to come shut her up, but he ain't never coming home. Nah, hell no. Nah. His, his father tell, tell her the same thing I told my daughter. I don't fuck with that bitch. <laughs> I don't fuck with that bitch. If you grow up fucked up, I'm sorry, but you know what I'm saying? I can't be around no bitch talking crazy to me and trying to do slick oh, shit to me. God. I will leave the baby behind and make another one. That's what I do. Man. I ain't been a mother. I don't, family to me, I, I hope when you grow up, you, you cool enough to come have a, a relationship with me, but I'm not finna motherfucking argue with no bitch my short time on this planet, especially now. Right. I know how fast life go, man. Life right. fast than a motherfucker, man. You think I'm finna argue with a lawless hound of hell? <laughs> Not for that. A devil yeah. puppy. <laughs> yeah. Could you fuck with a bitch who married a white man in the past? Not at this stage in my life, but it's not because I'm racist against a Caucasian male. The reason I wouldn't marry or be with solid with a black woman who has married a Caucasian man is because at my age, she's I don't have the time to put into her to grab her from there. You get what I'm that saying? Mental space. 
Huh? You mean that mental space? Yeah, that mental space. The bitch lost. I don't have time to do this. Come go with me. Right now, I got to look for a motherfucker woman that's halfway together mentally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe they marry Caucasian males for their money. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. That's what I believe. And self-hate. Self-hating. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's 90% of the time, absolutely. I ain't got time to say no bitch like that. Not at this age. Yeah. I don't have time to help you. I buy pussy from you, ho. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I ain't got no shame to it. You know how many bitches would be after me if they saw the video clips I have of putting the money on their dresser? Boy, them bitches would be like, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Especially the amount I put on some of these dresses. You recorded, you said? Boy, have you ever gave a bitch $100 for her pussy and then the bitch tell you you ain't shit? <laughs> that is some funny shit right there. You $100 soul having bitch. Who are you talking to? You said you recorded, you putting, putting it on the dresser? I'm the king of recording, putting the money on the dresser. <laughs> oh, my God. You be naked, putting it on the dresser. <laughs> hey, well, I, don't, I don't know what they going to do with this iPhone when I die, but Apple got some footage that they going to be like, this guy has to be cloned. Oh, <laughs> They're going to clone me. No, but the best thing, no, but the best part of that would be if he actually gets their reaction as well. That's I do one. get some oh, reactions. That would I be. do this for my entertainment because <laughs> it's just a matter of time for the woman to tell me, fuck you, motherfucker, you ain't shit, I don't ever want to see you again. That's why I'll be like, all right. <laughs> it's all good. Mm, I mm, get mm. proof you ain't shit. <laughs> Milton Morris said, Corey, you overpaid. <laughs> I did overpay, but see, because I used to be the forty dollar. I'm the motherfucker who oh. made the forty dollars up. He did mention yeah, prices before. went up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah, to do this now because them bitches be knowing me. They be sending uh, lawyer <laughs> letters to the fifty one fifty show. Talking about it worth more instead of the eighty or the forty. Right. That's funny. What's minimum wage? Fourteen dollars an hour. No. So, I ain't never uh, look. I up. ain't never mm -hmm. fucked the bitch more than an hour. So I'm do a refund. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, that's for bitches with trash push. They get minimum wage. No, nah, it's bitches out here. Let me tell you something. What you got some good pussy, Cole? When you over a bitch house and her water real hot and her kitchen flow sticky, boy, that pussy is immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Well. I think it's, it's like what did they say years. right there with yeah. the $10? It's 1678. What well, is his name? Romper86, Lauren Sanchez. Real G got with Jeff Bezo. Yeah. Gave the ex thirty six billion after getting broke off the WAP from Lauren. Jeff Bezos' net worth is two hundred billion. That's a come up. That's right, though. Oh, if that's you, different. If you, yeah, that is. Really, you have to put bitches after your, out your house after you fuck them because in California they can act like they lived with you. Right. Damn. You got to fuck bitches once a week. If you don't, they could say I live with him. Right. It's just, it's all loopholes to get you caught up if you got some money. Because mm -hmm. a girl ain't going to do that to you if you ain't got no money. Right. If you ain't got no money, they're going to be like, fuck him. I'll get the next fool. You know what I'm saying? That's how cold this world is, man. This world is motherfucking way the fuck out of pocket. And I'm here to tell you, I ain't saying I'm smarter than everybody. But I'm ahead of a lot of you bitches. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> That shit, man, I need to make a song like that. I'm ahead of a lot of you bitches. Try me. Try me. Try me. Hey, did you get that video up? Yeah. Man, hold on, man. This is my homegirl, man. And she said some deep shit. And I want people to hear it because this some deep shit, man. This some deep shit. If, if, if Abe get the video up, we going to play this shit. And I want to comment on this video because it's just too deep to let go. It's too deep to let go. Y'all motherfuckers finna listen to it too, motherfucker. Yeah, this is a Black Panther hat. God damn it, I got it at the mall. <laughs> Snack Panther. <laughs> Snack Panther, Snack God damn it. Panther. You know what you are, wet panther. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at them hugging them arms. Keep hugging them arms, boy. <laughs> did, did you let up? Boy, you better not let up, boy. We'll see that juice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> it's my sweatshirt wet, y'all. No, nah, them teeth yeah. small, though. All that sweat I had, my sweatshirt ain't wet. This nigga get on a motherfucking Lionel Richie running with the night suit. 
You got and it. it's wet under the suit, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? And them toddler teeth at the bottom. Hey, boy, Ancestry.com will be like, this motherfucker is from dark Africa. I can't. You, this nigga just like you uh, sell fentanyl. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's kind of flaw, though. <laughs> that should be your name, Aquaman. Ooh. Hey, you got the tape together. Y'all right, right. listen okay. to this. Listen to this, please. This is my sister right here. Uh, I, wanna, I want y'all to hear what she had to say. <laughs> Somebody say Marcus. My son when we talked and, and kind of like came to terms with being divorced. And he said uh, it was infidelity. And he said, Sherry, I was in so much. I was in a place where I could hear what he said. He said I was in so much pain because mm -hmm. we were pregnant and had lost Jeffrey's sister. Mm -hmm. I had tw it was twins, mm -hmm. and we had lost his sister, and thought we were gonna lose Jeffrey. And he mm -hmm. said, nobody, everybody rallied around you. They wanted to know how you were doing and what's going on. And, and that's important. You're pregnant. And I'm pregnant. And they, but a man goes through. You know, now you realize, <laughs> men, you may not be carrying that baby, but you're no less close oh, yeah. to that being that you helped create. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said, everybody rallied around you and was there, and they want to pray with you, and it was all about you, you. And he said, nobody, nobody rallied around me. Yeah. And I had nobody to, to talk to about the pain. Hey, look, um, yeah. let me tell y'all something, man. The bias in this Western nation, that's all I know is America. What she said basically was her husband said, Nobody even came at me about the baby that died. They all act like the woman we sorry, only, Sherry, yeah. and all like that and shit like that. That's why I'm saying, like, Sherry Shepard, I'm so glad you, 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 you said that with courage. When you know that the world ain't treating you right, please, please just let me say this. I'm going to be quick. When you know the world ain't treating you right as a man, the only thing that heals you is fucking the shit out of bitch. <laughs> so stop judging us when we go fuck hoes to heal. Mm. Oh. We mm. fuck oh hoes God. to heal. I gotta send this to my bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't, they don't understand. The world don't act understand. like men are bad. You cheated. Fuck out of here. You don't got stuff. no clue what we have to go through. We never. Once you become a man, you never get a day off. It's called womb mm. therapy. Well, wound therapy, wound right? Therapy. <laughs> That's the real thing. Man, when my dog died, my dog died right in front of me. Heart attack. I couldn't cry. My wife and the daughter was right there. I had to oh. pick my dog up. Come on, y'all. We still going to take him to the, to, the, to the hospital. They might be able to bring him back to life. Mm -hmm. I'm walking downstairs. I'm knowing the dog did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is just a moment of being a man. Basically, long story short, we get there, they couldn't revive the dog. I never got a chance to really cry until I was by myself. Because yeah. no matter what, even though it's a dog, that was like my child. Because yeah, yeah. I had him when he was a puppy. He was the same size as this when I got him. And I'm saying I'm getting an example yeah. of, when do you get to motherfucking be like, God damn, I'm yeah. fucked up over this. It's rare. Because you got to be a G. You got to be a man. And that mm -hmm. does something man, to people my when dog. they hold stuff in too much and too long. Say it again, never, D. I think that does something to somebody's psyche. Like when they do, when you just can't let certain things out. And my, my cat crawled up and died on my lap, nigga. I believe you, because animals yeah. would do that. Mm -hmm. 25 years, that motherfucker. Oh, my God. Damn, you Stop, it with Craig. The Are you serious? Huh? That's no, incredible. You said somebody <laughs> killed a cat with a funk. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get your vagina armpit having ass out of here, excited <laughs> ass armpit having ass. You can't never bring up funk. <laughs> <laughs> Craig smothered it under his titties. That uh, <laughs> but, uh, That's yeah. fucked up, boy, because that, that condition you got, boy. Like, you always oh, got to put your this. suits you know in the cleaners when you wear them one time. You know that, right? You, know you can't never wear a suit twice. Boy, if you wear that suit twice. twice. <laughs> no, twice. That's a middle finger plus two, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, you, you probably can't eat through a Medusa, nigga. Yeah. Fat ass fingers got to go together. <laughs> you got a rabbit's foot to match every suit you got. <laughs> you, get you know you can get you fans built under your suit arms, right? Yeah. 
Mm. You can get fans built up under your jacket arms. So they ain't got to go to the cleaners every time. <laughs> Coochie armpits is crazy. Oh, who said that? Wet pamper Marcus in this bitch. Hey. No, that he wasn't allowed to have a pet because if he held it, it'd drown. Ah, not right. Ah, ah, somebody ah, just ah, said it. Go see, down. Oh, somebody said that. I thought that was oh yours. Oh, my God. Dude. No. What did you do with the body? Because when my cat died, I didn't know what to do with the Where'd body. Where'd it say right? I took well, him to the uh, hospital. One more, one more down. Right there. Craig Look, still got it at the house. Kelly I do. I got it. <laughs> Marcus wasn't allowed to have a pet. Her name was Jazzy. Out. That was her name. Jazzy? <laughs> Jazzy. So I, looked, I was so distraught when Jazzy died, I took two days off of work. I believe my no, supervisor, I'm yeah. again, supervisor, the key to my house. She went home and grabbed her and, and got her cremated for me. I, yeah. like, I can't even go home. I don't know what to do. I done had this motherfucking cat since I was seven years old. Man. See? This nigga yeah. had a cat, nigga. <laughs> Jazzy, that was my nigga. Yeah, man. you know, yeah. No, nobody, like, I used a dog instead of a human because I wanted people to understand it's all kinds of scenarios where men weep, but we have to be the G. Yeah. That's the first time I, I seen a, a German Shepherd with a pet cat. Oh, <laughs> and most people crazy. haven't been around even humans to forget. Like I just get it. Yeah, Craig got the German Shepherd ish. Yeah, then your boy said that. See what the nigga on your show look like a German Shepherd. Uh, uh, Faison. 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 Stupid as hell. He said that one nigga, the German Shepherd looking nigga. Yeah. Faison got funny. appetite and speed on. What have you been saying? Come on the show. And get it. We gonna get Faison on here. Look, I was. I was scared. I was scared to bring Faison on here. But Faison actually is a cool dude, man. Yeah. Faison a cool dude, man. Like top notch, top it's just don't fuck with him. He, he seems like he's a cool you. dude. Yeah. I ain't never met him. I won't. I can't wait to meet him. Faison oh, me a good either. nigga, dog. Just yeah. don't, don't do no fuck shit. That motherfucker at the airport right now is still recovering. <laughs> yeah, ever since I saw, yeah, he, he just, he suplexed. Every time I like, go through that like, airport, I'll be like, is dude here, Faison, be there? He's doing like a handbag. <laughs> like, like, ugh. You see how strong that motherfucker Yes, he just flicked him with one arm. Nah, you like. I was on the internet or something? Oh, you got to look it up. Mark Dude, that motherfucker like he was a piece of light luggage. Yup. <laughs> he literally one-armed him and just that man's body just, I think his legs even went up in there. I'm not sure. Oh, Phil came back Oh, wow. Shit. Nice, Phil. I'm fuck this shit up. Oh, hell what? yeah. Phil, oh, you a Phil, man. Look, I want oh, everybody to know. You, Eric. I'm drinking water. Because I've been sick, dog. I've been sick. I was about to open that for you, but you I've said been you're sick. sick. You got it. Wait, well, wait. I ain't sick no more. I ain't sick like cold. I had that. Um, I think my blood pressure was high. Oh, yeah. that's not good. Yeah, it's not good at all. Yeah. I was like, damn, I fucking feel dizzy. Man, you and gotta shit. start eating some um, grapefruits, man. He grapefruit too. Yeah, but yeah. look, you no, it's what it is. It's weeks of going on the road and saying, "Fuck it, give me that." When I was in Jacksonville, dog. Man, I can't believe how much sweet tea I drunk. The road is a beast, though. It's, it's just, it's, you're just. I was drinking sweet tea, Marcus. That's what got me. My body was like, oh, you want a motherfucking fuck up, huh? All right. Mm. Oh, shit. It don't matter if people see we eating this shit. I don't give a what? fuck. Yeah, I don't know. You got spread over there. D, you can open it. With my bionic hands? Yeah. Yes. D, you got them um, hands like the Indian of um, Predator when he was like, dude. Ah! Oh shit, it was a little voice in there. My finger went in his neck. Anyway, back to the shit. Yeah. We about to talk. Uh, back on that medicine though. See what happened? I don't take meds no more. I don't take no medicine from the doctor. Because mm -hmm. I know what that medicine did to me. Mm -hmm. Like I ain't got no shame to my shit. Listen, everybody who takes that diabetes medicine. And I'm telling you this because you need to know this shit. If you take that diabetes medicine that they give you at the doctor, Oof. and the doctor ain't going to never tell you this, your body is going to change. You're going to lose muscle mass. It can make you impotent. Listen to me now. I'm telling you. It can make you impotent. It, it, it can cause cancer in the long run. If you take that medicine from any, them people. Any kind of medicine excessively, huh? Uh. Any kind of medicine excessively, I agree. But I'm saying, like, they might flag the show for this, but I don't give a fuck. Uh -oh. The world needs to know. Yeah, but you're not saying the actual name of it. If you take that shit, it's going to fuck you up. I decided if I'm going to die from lack of discipline, it's going to be because of my lack of discipline. 
It's not going to be because I was taking that shit, too. I understand my body. Whenever I have two weeks in a row of fucking up, I be sick. Mm. Mm -hmm. As you get older, you get sicker quicker mm -hmm. as you get older. So if I, like I'm going to Minnesota this weekend. See, I got my Prince shirt on, goddamn. I'm going to Minnesota this weekend. If I decide, fuck it, give me this, give me that. When I get back, Ooh, God, that's I'm going to feel weird. I'm on the plane sometime. I'll be like, I don't feel right. This mm. shit ain't cool. Because I know I feel my body full of all that shit. Right. I ate what I wanted to eat and I drunk what I wanted to drink. Yeah. And as I've gotten older, I pay for it. Mm. But I don't think a lot of people know what that medicine does to them. You all the medicine that you get from them people got side effects to do population control, got side effects to do shit to your motherfucking muscle mass, got side effects to motherfucking eventually graduate you to the can, sir. Mm -hmm. And then you in what they call, I'm finna buy a boat because he graduated to surgery. That's what the doctors do. That's how they buy their yachts and, mm. and get holes and pussies. Because you in surgery with that little money from your, the insurance. And, and I've been, I've been feeling the same way too. When I eat, when I eat too much sweets, ooh, boy, you I, young, I feel, yeah, I feel my stomach growing. I feel it in my stomach, like, oh shit, now nah, I gotta calm down on these damn. Boy, sweets. let me tell you something. You don't want to be a short nigga with a gut. There you go. God, Here it damn, is. Here it is. short bald head with a gut. You better stay in shape. Boy. I can tell how tough you is with a gut. Keep so being wet, you bad, but I'm big, Marcus. You uh, little, <laughs> nigga, but. The thing My is, bitch don't argue with me out of the eye. Your bitch be like, "We'll what's up? What we gonna do?" <laughs> <laughs> what 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 people need also stress is you need some type of exercise a day too, man. That that is very important. That's Listen to important. this, homie. I'm glad you brought that up. Minutes. I used to wonder why I don't exercise like I used to. Let me tell you something, homie. I did the research. Keep coming. I'm, it's I'm part it's part of willpower, but. My muscle mass ain't what it used to be, dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. That medicine yeah. shrinks your muscle mass, dog. Mm. You not who you used to be. Man, this shit going on with my body, dog. I used to be like, what the fuck happened to me? I figured it out. I did the research on the meds them people gave me. That shit fucked me up. And now I'm trying to recover. You and it takes it. you many months to get it all the way out. Yeah, you got to reverse it. Yeah. I don't take that shit no more. Take, I, I, told, I, I drop before I take some motherfucking meds from them people. And Only way I take some meds from them people, like if you have to give in and get a surgery done, sometimes I give in to the pain meds. Because, boy, when I had them kidney stones, boy, I can't even tell you what kidney stones feel like. Only people who had it know the pain of a sharp rock sliding up and down your inside. Like you can't, and, and the people who made who had to piss one out. Ooh. Oh my God, dog! It tell you whole. Not real? Dog, it tell your whole <laughs> dick lining up. I know that gonna real bad, motherfucker, boy. Your dick lining get tore up when you piss out a motherfucking kidney stone. Really? Cause when you see it, you're, this is a really. It's like a rock that's sharp. Right. You could needle and thread with some of them kidney stones, nigga. Damn. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the shit that we consuming out here will have you fucked up. That's why I'm sitting here. What I tell Phil, bring some motherfucking vegetables yeah. because I notice if I don't eat vegetables, I'm hungry than a motherfucker. This is the shit everybody don't know. Whenever you eat some shit that's not alive, you be hungry as hell. That's why you keep eating. <laughs> if you eat food like a cheeseburger, or anything like that, that's dead food. And when it sit in your stomach, it don't give you the necessary nutrients to do what the body needs. This is what I'm saying. I'm trying to, I'm trying to say it my way, my own little ignorant way, but I'm smart enough to figure it out. Man, when I eat kale, when I eat certain shit, homie, I don't even be hungry. Right. It's yeah. just bad discipline is a motherfucker. If you want to be around, 
and still be fucking in your 50s and 60s and 70s and even 80s. Because you can still be fucking in your 80s if you eat how you're supposed to eat. Oh, That's I'm what men need sure. to know. I will, I'm yeah, because sure, yeah. that kale and shit like that, it flows straight through you. And your, what your body is supposed to do. So your body is they call to it be, super foods. Yeah. It helps regenerate All what needs to be regenerated. But if you don't have a diet shit. like that, especially when you my age, you be fucked up. Yeah. You be fucked up. Craig, how old you say you was again? 41. Craig, 41. Look, it's around the corner if you be bullshit. Yeah. Like, when you hit about 45, you'll start being like, I don't feel the same. Yeah. And then the doctor going to tell you, oh, you got to start taking this medicine. Mm -hmm. They say it with a yeah. smile, too, and they give you a whole mm -hmm. bunch of trial packs. Yeah. They be like, just take some of that to jump you off. Yeah. Ooh, that's my <laughs> favorite that shit snack. Gonna have you Ooh, fuck up. Green man, apples with man. peanut butter. That's my favorite yeah, gotta, snack. That ain't peanut butter. What is? Uh, green apples with peanut butter. That's caramel right there, though. Oh, ooh, no. Mm -hmm. I, that. I saw a lady. It was an old lady. Her skin, eyes, everything looked so good. But coincidentally, this elderly woman was making breakfast. And she asked me, did I want some? I said, hell yeah, because I just wanted to see what she was going to make. Yeah. Oh, she didn't Ebony. go to the stove. Gone, Ebony. She went to this blender. Mm -hmm. She had some peanut butter, some spinach. So she had a whole bunch of shit. She turned into a smoothie. That, that, my type of shit. that was filling. Like I wasn't hungry after I ate it. She was like, you, you'll be all right after you eat this. You might think that this ain't nothing, but... It, I think it was the peanut butter that made it filling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the that, peanut butter, bananas, kale. Man, yo. First of all, this old lady look. I tried to get some pussy from the old lady. I ain't even going to lie to you. <laughs> but what I'm saying to y'all is this. When you see them old motherfuckers that move good and still look good, watch what the fuck they doing. Right, right. <laughs> them motherfuckers. Like when you see a woman look like she in her 70s, 80s, and still look good, that lady know what the fuck she doing. Yeah. It ain't Pearl, just no, metabolism. Pearl, my homegirl Pearl, 91. We still oh, go yeah? out. I take her out. You call her now. Pearl is my girl. Come on, say. She drink her wine, juicy. though. Huh? You I had juicy. one, but I'm going to get another one. I got one, too. So, but see, I got to pay somebody to just come to my house every day and prep the food and make it because I'm rat race. My, my, my mind is like a rat race. Like if you had it all they prepped, gotta do it. they got to do it, it every day. The they no, they can prepare. Every other day. Yeah, yeah. Prep them for the whole week. Prep them for the week. Yeah. If you want to. Can bad fashion kill you, Marcus? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, because you'll be dead. They say, they, <laughs> they say that, nigga, that. that nigga dressed like a, a, a lawyer on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> so we have an eye yeah, attack. but we can't but say the name, we, God. we can't say the name. <laughs> Somebody say, is you yeah. talking about Bam? My granny took that. Now she looks like a walking stick. She lost all her all her muscle mass. Oh, so they agree. Yeah. Actually, they have took the ingredients from this, and these stars are taking it on purpose. That's true. A lot of the stuff they're taking. They did what? Yeah. They took the ingredients from that medicine, mm -hmm. and they turned it into something that the stars are taking to lose weight. But it's still not healthy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not healthy, dog. No. Some make you lose. Some make you get thin and lose muscle mass. Do you know this muscle mass ain't no joke? If you got muscle mass, that shit is really a blessing. Hell yeah! That's how you defend yourself? It mm -hmm. ain't easy. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's, a nigga hear him, his body go jiggle. Like, well, you better not move your arm. Or <laughs> oh, oh, I felt so good. Look, that's why you got that Prince jacket on. D, you, you see that shit? Door. How far down is it? That nigga <laughs> wet spot down here. <laughs> That nigga wet spot is at the equivalent of his belly button right now. <laughs> your titties oh. touch your belly button, nigga. Oh my God. <laughs> and nigga um. nipples on his belly button. <laughs> I know I'm fucking forgetting, but look, I'm going to say this shit, even though I know she's going to be mad at me. Well, I better say this about Steve Harvey. Oh, shit. I talk shit about Steve Harvey, right? This is some real shit. I talk shit about Steve Harvey with the tour dates and all that shit. Now, do you remember when I said something about Monique? D, when I was talking about Monique, mm -hmm. I said the reason she didn't um, perform her act on stage is because she didn't have no jokes, so she just started talking about DL. Do you remember when I, I said that? I remember that, that back in the, uh -huh, when all that stuff was going on between them. And then a little later on, I had to basically, I said, I wish Monique well with her special. Right. Did I do that? Yep. No, you did. When we, when we... The reason I did that is because even though I talk shit, because talking this shit is public knowledge, 
I talk shit about all kinds of people. It doesn't mean I hate them. I don't hate nobody. I'm a confident motherfucker. So I want to say, even though I talk shit about a Steve Harvey, because see, first time I worked with Steve Harvey, he cut my time to five minutes. You did say, I remember. Mean, <laughs> I was yeah. too funny. Mm -hmm. It always oh. fucked with me. I hate headliners like that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you can't say this. You can't say that. Oh, you, oh, you, you, you need to go clean because I'm going to go cuss it. But look, I just want the world to know I don't have no hate agenda against Stephen A. Smith. Even though Stephen A. Smith have done things that make me be like, man, you sell out your people for that money, brother. It's very hard to respect you. But I don't have hate for human beings like that for real. I'm too confident a man, even though I will handle my business. I handle my business with anybody. Mm. I ain't saying I'm tough, because I'm not. But I handle my business if I got to handle my business. Why? What happened? Or where, what happened? Nothing really oh. happened with Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey, I ain't heard from Steve Harvey or nothing like that. But I just want to put that out there because a lot of these YouTubers make videos about everything we say, mm -hmm. and they had a headline, Corey hates Steve Harvey. Corey digs deep into Steve Harvey or whatever the fuck. Oh, whatever to make motherfuckers watch they shit. Right. And then take the cuss words out my shit. That's bitch shit. Because let me tell you why they take it out. Y'all so know. Sponsors. Mm -hmm. How fucking weak can you be when you take some organic shit and mix it up? Mm -hmm. Well, you, you instigating shit all for sponsor money. You a weak motherfucker, homie. Any motherfucker who do that, you weak as fuck. I can't respect you. Now, make, make a comment off that. Y'all chop the shit up and make the shit what you want it to be. Because y'all some fucking lames. Like Marcus is Taylor. Right. Chop the shit up. Got Taylor. You, you, chopping up, <laughs> you chopping up bad dope with that yeah. outfit, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you, you playing the guitar and all your memories, nigga, you with your, that suit on, motherfucker. You and your jacket and your skin color, the same yeah, color. Yeah, man. Yeah. That nigga light skin. <laughs> I seen a nigga with a puppet on stage. A nigga with a puppet on stage had that same suit on, Mark. And they got a, and they got a two, got the two triple time on the, on the back. And they, <laughs> Mark, watch how he chew in the back, how long he chew, nigga. Hey, look, Mark, <laughs> you want to go to China and get a doll made with the wet arm? Yeah. <laughs> when you pull the string, the, the, the arms get wet. Like, Man, help me. Come on, front team. Give me some. Oh, my God. <laughs> Marcus gotta hire somebody to uh, to read his Bible for him. <laughs> hey boy, you know how much money you would make if you sold a you know wet Marcus doll? <laughs> boy, that nigga dressed like he shovel snow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, Look at here, I'm wet now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Corey, instead of rubbing his nipples, nigga, you ain't shit. Nigga, a little mini chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Nurse Umar, get the uh, yeah. but Nurse Umar, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, y'all heard about the brat baby. Oh, my oh, God. Man. I am so embarrassed. Look, I do not dislike the brat, but I got to go in on this shit. <laughs> she hate, what? She hate black men, bro. Oh, say it again. Oh, you want Lord. me to wait till after you go in? Man, you want to wait till after I go in? Because yeah. what you said right there is what I added it all up to. See, back in the day, women used to hunt out men and make babies with them. Now that this bi biological hustle has been created for these old. They go out and they buy sperm and check it out. The Brett and that lady she is doing this with are black women. Yeah. I'm talking about, like, actually the Brett is cute to well, me. Man, she fine. Yeah. Yeah, the Brett is cute. Right. Yeah. The girl he doing this for, you can tell this is a hustle for money. <laughs> this is a hustle for money. Have you seen that lady? Oh, my she Lord. Thick, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love them. I yeah, love, I like them and I like their show. Judy with the I don't know booty. Judy. I've never met you, but the brat is super, super nice. Both of them thick. The brat fucking herself. Oh. Yeah, nigga, she had. She fucking herself. Let me, can I, let's oh, see why. She cut a nigga dick off and used it. And Do you sperm. think it's a coincidence they chose a Caucasian male to make a baby with? No, she hates black men. 
Nigga, all the baller niggas you know, brat. You know Jermaine Dupree, Bow Wow. You know, you used to fuck out of Iverson. You know every major rapper in the industry. You know rich niggas. You could have got this sperm from anybody that you knew because you were studs and you fuck with niggas mostly. So it seemed. So it seemed, right? No, she, she, she go, y'all hear that full of shit as excuse? Exactly. Oh, yeah. She's a millionaire. No. No. Less than 5% of the donors are black men and the nigga that, that, uh. Look like Jiminy Cricket. Look like Jiminy (laughs) Cricket. That's right. I'm like, that's bullshit because I know a few bitches that ain't got no money. They got motherfucking black sperm donors. Like quite a few bitches that that they use a, a, a black man's sperm donor. You could have called Bow Wow, bitch. You could have called me. Let me fucking. She, I didn't, she yeah. didn't want a short baby. Wait, look at that. Look at that. Look at that picture right there. You said she could have called Bow Wow. Bow Wow was like. See, it hurts. Let me tell you why. Bow Wow need the money, Corey. She could have called Bow Wow. <laughs> yeah, let him bounce with you. She bounce, want a tall baby. Maybe maybe homeboy was. A they ain't gonna say to people that was like, "Bitch, I ain't giving you shit." Yeah, yeah. They talk well, about the motherfucker <laughs> that would give it to her. I'm so disappointed in the brat, man. I'm a fan still, but I don't believe in what they're the saying. I don't follow it. She not related to this baby, so she fucking herself. Who? The baby. This is old girl's egg. They tried to put the brat's egg in old girl's body, but like you said, her eggs were scrambled. They wasn't making it through. So right. they had to put old girl's baby in the brat and a white man's sperm in the egg. So she's going to birth a baby that ain't even hers. She's going to birth her stepson. She's yeah. not even related to the baby. And I heard the bitch got paper. She does. Yeah, you see what a bitch do for paper, though? Hey, oh, oh you don't know. I don't agree with them, guys. Judy, Brad. Surrogate means you birth a baby that ain't yours. Surrogate means you lost your goddamn mind. You birthing a baby that ain't yours. Man, <clears throat> ain't no way. Ain't no way to. I'm saying, me. I do not dislike the Brett, but I am. I'm like, damn, sister, have you gone mad? Have you gone mad? You seen that in them movies <laughs> when they walk up to them? <laughs> they walk up to people. Just like if I if I was in a movie, I'd walk up to Marcus Underarm and be like, "Have you gone mad?" <laughs> well, I think I think it's, it's, a lot of people have that. Black people have that syndrome to where they praise mixed babies. Yeah, they feel like mixed babies are superior. Yeah. they don't say it out loud and they deny it. But at the end of the day, yeah. they feel like mixed babies are superior. I agree, but I think this is a case of her hating black men. She dresses like a black man to keep black men from hollering, hollering at her. She got, she got pregnant. Is that the same with Venus? Venus. Venus oh, congratulations like again! They, yes, she's, she's pregnant possibly. again. Venus had a baby too. Oh, not Venus. I'm sorry. Venus oh, is a virgin. No, you're right. I'm sorry. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's Serena. Serena. I'm sorry. Serena. Serena. Sorry, what, what, do you, what do you think Serena's doing with that guy? She's pregnant again. Yeah. Yes. At least she like dick, though. She's saying, at all costs, I don't want no black man, nothing around me. I don't want no black baby in me. I don't want no black partner. I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want nothing black male around me, period. Even though this includes you, Craig, um, I think bitches missing out with pink dick. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Crazy. Pink yeah, dick, you missing the oh experience. Oh, my God. How do you know his is pink? <laughs> oh, great? Yeah. That shit's crazy. Face pink it doesn't not. matter. But if they're, if they're black, the, I mean, their so you're saying it's pink dark. niggas with black dick. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're brown. brown. No, they're, they're brown. Got, they're, they're light brown. They're they're brown. What are they, D? <laughs> light brown. <laughs> Craig pull out the bitch. Craig pull out. They're not pink, they're beige. Greg pull out on the bitch, you think he got a deal to all. <laughs> Greg be like, bitch, you want this beige up in here? Put this Beijing in this bitch. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Where you buy that from, Craig? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do know, Trill. Somebody say D, no, right? Yeah. Hey, Brett. I got love for you, sister. It just seemed like some insane shit going on with you. I know you got to get that bread. That hoe got that bread. Enjoy yourself. We from the crib, Brett. Okay. That's right. She's the whole got the yeah. bread. I know what you're doing on the hustle side of the game. Oh. But I think it's just weird. But get your money. Get your money. We got to comment on this stuff because it's out there. These mm. stories are out there. You talking to the brat right now? Yeah. yeah I'm telling the brat. Don't think I hate you. But it just don't it's some. It's, some, it's some shit to make me go. And don't oh. worry, she definitely don't hear. So but I'm saying, she, she having a baby, she's not related <laughs> she do to. No, she don't. Do you know how deep that is? 
Hey, I know how deep it is, but look. Ronnie, say, explain it for the people, Craig. Say it one so more time. So when somebody is a surrogate, this means that they take an egg from a woman, put it into another woman, and fertilize the egg inside the other woman's body. So mm -hmm. basically, you're, she's carrying a baby for somebody else. So when this baby is born, like technically a black woman could carry a white woman's egg as a surrogate and have a white man's sperm uh, in, put into the egg and birth a white baby. Right, she's carrying it for Judy and the sperm donor. Right, yeah, so, so when the baby the is born, if to. they blood tested, that ain't the Brad baby. The, if it's in her pussy, there's blood on it. Her blood on it, but it ain't her baby. So, so Do you know if the Brad's, the Brad's still bleeding? If she got a baby, she's still bleeding, right? I think she ran out of eggs, because she fit. Can you run out of eggs? Yeah, women run out of eggs. Yeah. No, she had. She had. No, she, she, had, no no, she had like fibroids or something was wrong up in what, there. But they actually put they the brat's eggs in her what twice. Where do fibroids come from, D? D I don't know, cause I thank you God. Marcus, that, do you know? Thank you, you God chicken, that I didn't huh? have to deal fibroids? with that. But I know a lot of people that have it, and that is no joke. Like some of the real serious. What do fibroids ones? come from, Craig? It's not fibroids? funny. I know a lot of people that have had some Bitches major surgery. Bitches with sur perms. Oh wow. Okay. I hear that's causing a lot of stuff. Like any. No, what I really think is there was a time when they were giving them girls. I don't give a fuck if, if they flag this video. Fuck y'all. I got to mm. tell the truth while I'm here. And if you take this channel, I can't do nothing about it. There was a time when girls were getting shit nods at Skid New. Mm. And that generation of women who got shit nods at Skid New are fibroid carriers. Wow. Is they been putting the motherfucking bogus shit in us for years, yeah. dog? Man. Yo, I'm talking about your grandmama. I'm talking about it'll be our great grandmama. But I'm talking about my grandmama. They didn't have that shit. It's the girls around the age, like my mother and younger, that oh. got yeah. them shit not to skin new. And them motherfuckers all be having that weird shit going on with them. Like, what the fuck is a fibroid? The yeah. doctor don't tell you. That's when you blow a bubble with dirt in it. It's <laughs> when you swallow a lot of cantaloupe seeds. Bitch, <laughs> is that grass in the bubble? No. Blow a bubble with worms in it. No, I have absolutely no eggs left. I am pretty sure. Yeah, How do you know when you got eggs? Did you just did yeah, you hugs, go all hugs hugs. I get, Well, the last, you get to, we check not the eggs, but. As far as how far I am into menopause. Them baby birds in her stomach. I'm done. done. I'm done with it. Thank you, God. Every now and then, though, I do have the, the sweats. They check your stomach. Wasn't nothing in there but tumbleweeds, yeah. huh? So now you got underies, <laughs> not over. Just a little echo. She got, <laughs> she got underies. The what? ovaries went under. They're under. I don't care. Yeah. Thank you, God. I don't have to deal with that. Mm -mm. That nigga really? say she got underies. <laughs> Boy, yeah, they were at CVS. Dog. They were giving me coupons for uh, for protect for, uh, them eggs for the monthly thing. Oh, lady, I don't need this. <laughs> so I do. Thank so, you, God. I was like, <laughs> somebody say them H them H uh, HBV shots. shots. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. We we hey we adding it all up on them motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say to all the niggas. I got deviled egg. That's a good one, Tricky Nick. All the niggas in LA who find ways to get people number on the extortion side of the game, <laughs> please leave me alone. These niggas out here in LA. Thank you, Marcus. Find please. ways to get your phone number and call you up. Yeah, this old G so and so so and so, and um, I just want you to know so and so. Got a problem with this, and you know what I'm saying? What we need to do. I'll be like, who the fuck is so and so? Well, tell so and so to call me. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying, it's like I've been Man. getting calls from weirdos, dog. And Man. who did you do? And do they actually tell you who gave them your number? I got, I, I, I don't or know. You have a Look, clue. let me tell you That's something. Messed up. I don't this, like that. I mean, D, you know how this shit go. This, I says, do. this shit yeah. out here is, let me tell y'all motherfuckers who think I got some bread where y'all can extort me. <laughs> Wrong. Look, the niggas to extort is the niggas who got Hollywood money. Like when you see mm. somebody in a lot of movies and shit like, like that. Like when they tried to get Kevin. You got Bollywood. Like that, like, when like, they tried to get who? When they yeah. tried to get Kevin. Right. Yeah, when they Stuff try like to do that. shit like that. Homie, I'm from motherfucking Chicago, nigga. Let me tell y'all motherfucking something. I'm the motherfucker who just going to get a number that I saw called me to my associates, and I let them handle that. Mm -hmm. And I know they gonna handle it. 
So all you motherfuckers out here who think that that sucker shit work, nope. Mm-mm. Nope. I'm just going to throw the number in the ocean with the sharks. And trust me, the sharks going to come see what's up. So miss me with all that sucker shit. I know, man, these niggas, do you know these niggas got reps for what they do? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. The niggas who tried to uh, extort Shaq came at me. <laughs> Oh, oh, cut wow. it out. Oh, Lord. Dog, we know you motherfuckers. Y'all run that old ass motherfucking game. Get a job. Nigga, trust me, my nigga. Get a real job. That ain't no uh, job. I'm not by myself. What kind of bad karma is that, too? Shame on you guys. Scary ass niggas yeah. be running up on niggas because they <laughs> figure you by yourself. Right. And, like, whatever they do is just going to, ain't nothing going to happen. No, <laughs> nigga. Not me. I'm my own man, no. I handle my own business and shit, man. I I don't really have problems with nobody. Right. But I'm saying, like, I'm a wise man. If I got a problem with somebody who I feel like it ain't one motherfucker, man. I'm a I'm a mob up. I'm a go be like, yo, I'm getting this information from this dude. This the number they called me on. I need you to handle that for me. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. So miss me with that sucker shit. Don't call me. If I don't know you, don't call me with none of that OG nothing shit. <clears throat> I, I don't, we know who you are, dog. You know how easy it is to find people nowadays? Man. Can't nobody hide. Man, that's real shit. We out here. Mm-hmm. I guess I got to do like old boy and just be like, yo, the police. I, I, somebody told me, tell that motherfucker, you, you better do a show for the policeman ball. Who said that? No, no, no. Yeah. But they, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what motherfuckers out here, if they gonna recognize anything, that's why dudes yeah. say that shit he down mm-hmm. with, the, with the police. That yeah. ain't no disrespect to him because I don't really want him yeah. feeling like, uh, I ain't gonna respond to it. Yeah. Right. What'd you, you say, Phil? That nigga. What? Check it. Check this. Oh. Yo, you can just say some shit. We don't give a fuck about these motherfuckers down here. <laughs> shit. Hold on. Called him to let him know you don't like... <laughs> Wait, what? Surprise, but they had already given him the address. Hold on, I don't feel what you're saying. Well, I, know he didn't Wait, what you say. I don't give a fuck, Phil. I what? see, damn. Phil, fuck these niggas. God, I got you back. Damn. Motherfucker, say something to you, but I'm just saying, man, look. I know how LA work. Man. LA, they extort stars out here. They I'm not a star, anything. nigga. I'm just a nigga with a motherfucking uh, 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 podcast, nigga. I hustle for mine, nigga. I wish I was a rich nigga. Man. I wish I was one of these niggas who had some real money. I might fucking go to an island and disappear. <laughs> if I had like Gullah, Gullah millions island. and millions of dollars, yeah. I might take some years off, dog. Because I could do this from a desk anywhere. Right, mm-hmm. right. I might take some years off. If I was like, if I had $10 million in the bank, I probably would be like on some chill mode shit for a little while. Yeah, why not? But I ain't got no money like that, man. Y'all motherfuckers wasting y'all time calling Corey Holcomb. Who, who, who told y'all I had some money? <laughs> either that or they just thought you were a real sucker because sometimes that's you know what I'm saying it's either or ain't no suckers so, over here y'all exactly ain't no suckers over here I, I swear to God man I ain't, I am not Superman but I'm not that nigga I mm. promise you Who all the motherfucking niggas who find ways to get Corey Holcomb number even when like I remember that nigga he ain't no gangster nigga but Sotomayor when that nigga called my phone dog it's so easy to find out who everybody is man you can't, you can't, look, look, Greg, Craig, this is what happened to me. I got a letter from Uptown Comedy Club in Atlanta. Recently? Yeah, I got a letter. They sent some shit to me talking about, Corey, um, you hurting my business by um, putting that shit out there that we recording the comics and, 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 and putting that shit on the internet. But that's exactly what the fuck you doing, yeah. whole ass nigga. They don't have any cases. If you got, I that's said what I said, and I stand on it. You did what you did because you can't stand on it. Mm. The club uptown, little puss ass club out there by the airport in Atlanta. These motherfuckers record niggas and got a motherfucking whole channel playing the niggas' videos. 
Man. Uptown in Atlanta. I, that wasn't no lie, motherfucker. Did you see the video he made? I don't know what video he, who made. I don't know. What'd he say? <laughs> What'd he say? Hey, you gotta see it. Wait, what? See, all that shit will get past me. I oh, yeah. say this shit. I'm making a point with the shit. Look, I don't do no scandalous shit. The motherfucker said, take my video down. Motherfucker, pay me for I take some shit down. If it's worth it, I might take it down. But motherfucker, what the fuck I'm gonna take my video down for? If you don't get your, man, look, let me tell you something. I'm the one told the homie, hey man, I called a, a comic, a famous comic. I said, man, these motherfuckers got your video on this motherfucking channel mm. for profit. And they know this what happened. So why would you send me a letter? That's what I'm saying. These are extortionists. See? These are niggas who really think that I'm supposed to put my dick between the back of my legs and try to rub it like this. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You st it's, it's a whole bunch of videos produced at your club that when comedians work there, they art, their personal property is being put online for profit. Y'all tried to hide the videos. Mm. Let me tell you something, dumb motherfuckers at Uptown. Even if you took it down today, it still can be traced because it was online. Mm -hmm. People record you can't, oh, take it down so he can't see it. You <laughs> stupid <laughs> motherfucker. The shit, once, once you put something on the internet, it's, it's, it's evidence there that was on the internet. So don't send me no motherfucking letters talking about, hey, Corey, you heard my business. <laughs> At this point, we just asking you to take the video down. You want to send me a letter about some shit, motherfucker? Send me a letter about how much you need to pay me to take a video down. I would have did it on GP if you was a man and came to me and said, Corey, okay, we fucked up. We won't show the videos no more. Will you please take that down because it'll make me lose my club or it's hurting the business at my club. I would have probably been like, you took the comic shit down? Okay, now I can't take my shit down unless you pay me. Because I make money off my videos, and my videos ain't sneaking motherfuckers and recording them. That's what you do, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't sneak and record niggas. I ain't never been one of them niggas at your show like this. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that's how the niggas be at the show. With the, with the, yeah, with the camera. Yeah, with the camera. Got a custom Man, pocket for the phone. Right, that's whole shit, nigga. Custom pocket for the phone. <laughs> if you don't know that's whole shit, that's whole shit, man. Stop fucking with me. All you extortionists, Damn. leave me alone. Let me tell you something about finding somebody. Everybody can be found. You can't hide from nobody. Mm -hmm. You can't hide from nobody. If I wanted to find somebody, all I got to do is have some people I know look you up under your name or whatever your name is. Alias is all that shit. Or like these West Coast niggas do. One thing about these West Coast niggas, they know how to find out all the information about a nigga because it was on the internet. Right. They put a case on you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you find out something about everybody. When you put a case on them, the lawyer get all the information on you. Right. I saw that on a video, some West Coast nigga, OG nigga. Yeah. He was saying that shit. Man, listen, it's easy to find people. I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble, but I'm just saying, man, please leave me alone. These letters and phone calls, that shit ain't nothing, man, because I ain't doing no slick shit. I ain't going around trying to do nothing slick. I ain't got comics I done snuck and recorded and I'm playing it on my show. <laughs> or calling niggas acting like, hey, somebody got a problem with this. Hey, nigga, how that nigga call me then? How the nigga with the problem call me? Everybody else is a middleman. Get the fuck off my phone. Or they're acting like they are, but right. a lot of times the they just- Right, fuck off my phone, They're acting nigga. on their own accord. Wow. Well, well, we know all the nigga who names you mentioned, we know how to get in touch with them. That's what the middleman niggas do. They, they name drop. Yeah. A nigga call you and be like, yeah, you know so-and-so? Like, He's out know. for you. Right? Who the fuck is this? Baba Joe is out for you, right? man. Baba <laughs> Joe. Tell me on the break, Corey. I'm so curious. Tell you on the break about who? I want to know the name. The name of who? The person who called you, because I, I man, bet you I, I know I who they I are. Would. It's been about no, three please. of them. Oh, I would love to know. Please. Three okay. niggas that got at me. Man. Middle man. Oh. Middle man nigga. Who won't you the motherfucker and be like, uh, they like to think they're middlemen, but you know what? A lot of they them guys They want you to be like that little boy on the internet. On their own thing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 uh. But I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck 
out of here, nigga. Stop that shit. That's Leave terrible. me the fuck alone, man. Shame on you guys still doing that stuff. That's old school. Niggas still do that shit, D. I know so, you know about that yeah, shit. Yeah, but I was saying that's so old school. Like I said, get another job, dude. That ain't that ain't working no more. Gone. Ugh, that's some ugly stuff. If you're going to extort people, if I was extorting somebody, I'd extort a real rich motherfucker. Like a bees, you know what I'm saying? Like something had like billions, like where they could be like, okay, this a nigga who got some millions. Like I ain't got no millions. You know, chip you off on the strength of it. Like just ah, oh, this guy's getting on my nerves. I'm a nigga out here hustling. <laughs> you know, I'm a nigga yeah. out here hustling. We on our way to Minnesota this week. God damn it, we hope that motherfucker fell out. Me, who I was on the show, Bill Bellamy. Y'all got a picture of that shit? We all what working this week in Minnesota at the theater. Y'all come on out to the theater. God damn it. Oh, that's this weekend, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have on a purple cape. No, nah, I'm fucking with y'all. I ain't wearing no <laughs> Should I wear that outfit to Minnesota? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better bust my outfit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Like them, the them you know, when them arms dry like that, the, the material get real like cheap. Fat Hulk. <laughs> you can rip it like notebook paper after they, that shit they, dry. They, they say they call you the bulk. <laughs> the bulk? <laughs> the bulk. <laughs> the guy, they call you the Mosh. M U L S H. Mosh. That's what's under your arm. Yeah, that go to show. Who all on that motherfucker? Woo, Donnell Rawlings, Bill Bellamy, Tony Robbins, funny than a motherfucker. Prince T. Doves. That's the young nigga. Mm -hmm. That's them young niggas and the other nigga. Uh, Mojo, what is that? Brooks. Brooks, I met him. Yeah, he. Yeah, he was at that one show you do, yeah. Young, funny nigga, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, this he motherfucker came in show. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm about to knock their ass up. They got I me might on come out here and spectate that one, man. What? what? Come on out there and fuck with me. You come out there, I got you a room. Yeah, you, ain't, what? you ain't gotta pay for no room or nothing. I got nice, you. dang. Here, you come out there and fuck with me, goddammit. Come backstage with me. I'll have you come out there on me. We'll ride the audience. Oh, yeah, it is yeah, Mother's Day. I'm serious. You oh, wanna ride the audience? Let's do it. Nigga, I'm not bullshit. <laughs> if you come to the show, I y'all heard Craig Max <laughs> gonna be on the show. I'm coming. And we buddy. riding the whole audience. Any nigga with a tripped out looking outfit, <laughs> we about to let you have it. We got you. <laughs> hey, I, I ain't going to lie. I'm excited to see everybody on there with, with you and uh, goddamn. Bill? No. no. Tony Roberts. Oh, okay. Corey. Bill, of course. But Tony Roberts and Corey, man, that's going to be crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah, we done done a couple of shows together. Tony Roberts funny. And it, it ain't going to be no funny left after you two niggas. Oh, man. What's the lineup, though? I, is look, it a, a, I don't know the lineup, but I ain't finna complain about the time. Right. Don't know, uh, everybody on there funny. I don't know the other two brothers, but I mean, all y'all funny. Bill funny, mm -hmm. but. Young boys all right, man. Yeah, is that and right? Young boys all right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Mo, I seen Mojo get out of heat. That nigga can hold it on for sure. Shout out to Mojo. And again, reminder, it is Mother's Day Sunday, guys, so you still have time to order stuff if you're going to order anything. The show on Saturday. Oh, Fuck with it. Oh, the show's on Saturday or Sunday? Run. Mother's Day Sunday. The show's Saturday. Oh. We finna know. Hey man, look. 910 Hennepin Ave. Is that a real city? Wait, what is it's it? It's the Orpheum Hennepin, Theater. Man. What, what is, is it? Hennepin. 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 Yeah. Hennepin. Minneapolis. Hennepin. Hennepin. Where they sell small in Minneapolis. Wait, what? Right. <laughs> That's when a that's when a chicken puts something on the wall. Hennepin. Yeah, yeah Hennepin. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's what Core had when he was 15. That's that shit dripping under Big your Bernie arm. Gave him Hennepin. That's Hennepin right, syrup. Right, Layton. One day he'll gave bring him Hennepin to hit him. One day he'll bring me out to one of the shows. You need a, you need a Hennepin <laughs> shot under your arm. Mar Marcus is a realtor that only sell back houses. <laughs> I'm a secondhand realtor. I sell bullshit. Now it's the or <laughs> hey Minnesota. It's the Orpheum Theater. God damn it. Orpheum. <laughs> Somebody say Corey, Corey over there biting through a whole damn chicken yeah. wing. Fuck y'all, nigga. <laughs> Eat the bone and all. No, he's eating carrots. Nigga, Craig got a light skin outfit, nigga. Got a light skin outfit. Got a light skin outfit. I need to match my skin tone. Yeah. Willie, your realtor. Yeah. Thanks for the $20 yeah. donation. He said, This is whoever needs some extra strength. Stay dry. <laughs> Marcus is the top. Two borrows off. Two borrows of it. Respect, brother. Thank you, Willie. Your really your Willie, your realtor. Mm -hmm. We need that lick. Arm and coconuts. This better not be no nigga. Corey, when you performing back here in L.A.? Hey man, I can't wait to perform in L.A. on the big on one of these big theaters, <laughs> man. It's coming. It's coming. Should I be in L.A.? Ontario Improv. Talk what about day, it, what Mark. What day? No, uh, June seventh. June seventh. Next month. Hey, I can't wait to come check you out, man. Hey, man. You think nigga. I'm bullshitting on everything I love, homie? I'm about to have this lady I know who's so 
make you a suit with maxi pads under that motherfucking <laughs> oh armpit. I swear to God. Oh my nigga, God. your ass hey, needs some motherfucking. My nigga Craig be having me rolling. Yeah, Craig man. gonna be shitting on this yeah, show. He, he gonna be wearing the pins <laughs> on. Oh Craig God. can't hold that shit. He shit like yeah. a dog, you know. He, he probably got little spots in his house. He just go. <laughs> he got one of them grass patches. <laughs> <laughs> the dog be rolling his eyes at him when he pissed in it. <laughs> anyway, oh. ladies and gentlemen, even though Craig is taking a piss shit, we gonna get to the part of the show where D tries to put her glasses to work. Ladies and gentlemen, these loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Oh, my God. That was so sweet. <laughs> okay. So let's get into this. Okay. So a young man named Rymir, and pardon me if I say it wrong. His last name is even harder to pronounce. Uh, Satterwaith, age 30, has been in a legal battle with rapper Jay-Z for over 10 years now. And all he's been wanting is a DNA check to prove that he's his biological father. It's not the one that everybody was thinking back in the day that there was one of those video girls, not that one. This is the kid that was even before that. This kid is uh, like 30 years old now. So anyway, um, he said ever since his mother told him that Jay-Z was his real father before she passed, uh, the, that she said that, I want to tell you something, jay Z's your dad. Um, people in the family kind of already knew and everything because they knew that she you know, messed with him off and on, off and on when she was younger, a teenager. Anyway, the problem in the case is that it's been sealed for an entire decade, but now the young man filed a new motion recently with the Supreme Court. He did it a few times many years ago, but they've been putting halts on all this and shutting him down. So the young man and his aunt are claiming that Jay-Z and his crew allegedly have been abusing the legal system all these years, manipulating it, um, allegedly, to avoid him having to do the paternity test. I don't see why he just doesn't do it if he didn't. Anyway, the young man says that he has his own money and works hard, that he simply just wants to prove that he's his biological dad. Now, his mom's gone. His mom That's passed. A, yeah. Nick. Anyway, before his mother passed away, his mom, Wanda, alleged that she had sex with Jay-Z on again. Oh, I already said that. Romance. Anyway, when she was 16 and he was 22, a young man said, um... The young man said his mother told him. Who was 16? The woman. His mama. His mama. <laughs> you know Jay-Z liked them young. <laughs> Jay -Z, yeah. No wonder he Allegedly. having this case sealed. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly. He probably was like, on some illegal shit. <laughs> I mean, man, the resemblance is startling. Um, anyway, her family, including her sister, who's his aunt that's been helping him with all this, says that... Um, the sister did express to everybody that she swears up and down she's only had sex with two people in her entire life. One was Jay-Z and the other was the man that was on the child's birth certificate all those years thinking that was his dad. And that, so she a lying bitch, Wait, though, right? I wait. Was gonna say, I believe that. That man that. took the DNA test and he's not the dad. So, I believe that to that part. Jay-Z, don't, don't be scared. That ain't going to be your boy. That bitch a lying motherfucker. Nah, I don't know. So we'll see. So Ebony, now he, Ebony Brandon talking about that shit when dude when I came out to Tacoma and dude had a seizure in the audience. <gasps> oh no! That's an attest to being funny. That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> right, what's up, Ebony? How you doing, baby? She I didn't have two seizures. Oh yeah, Ebony, show. Ebony, cool. Yeah, she. That's why I'm trying to get out there, get out there in Tacoma, man. Uh -huh. Ebony, y'all know Ebony? Huh? Yeah, she came to my yeah, show in Seattle. I met her in the club when I was down there. She, oh, she, straight yeah, up? Yeah, she's like, cool oh. How's she look? Uh -huh. hmm? Big titties, pretty face. That's what's up. She's a school teacher. Is she? All right, Ebony. Good people. Yeah, she's, she's, she's solid, man. But anyway, so I wish this guy, I don't know. I wish him the best, I guess. I don't know. Just take the test. I don't know if it's I don't like when niggas be it. like, I got my own money and all that shit. Nigga, well, what the fuck you need a test for? He just said he just, just has simply been wanting to know if that's really his dad. His mom that, passed away. I don't I'll be like, yeah, I'm your daddy. Now, what you want? Oh, you know what, though? Just looking like a motherfucker don't mean nothing. That's what I'm saying. Because so he wants it was the, right. Marlo Brand, Marlo, uh, the nigga was running around here saying he was Eddie Murphy's son. Oh, yeah. Brando? He looked more like Eddie Murphy than all the Eddie Murphy all kids. All the other kids. That's what happens That nigga yeah. looked just like him, and that wasn't Eddie's son. See? Hey, Marcus tried to get some money from Marvin Hagler talking about that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, I should be wearing suits like this if you my dad. <laughs> I heard about Damn. you and Eddie LeVert situation. Yeah. Didn't <laughs> I didn't know that all this time, even though this has nothing to do with it, but I didn't know that, uh, that Jay-Z's middle name was Corey, spelled like your name. 
Did you know that? Sean no. Corey Carter. I, I didn't, didn't know, know that. But let's, I, I, I feel like this, though. If, if you were a, a nigga of that you caliber like Jay-Z, you got paper like that, man, you can falsify it. You can, you can make a motherfucker uh, lie and say they ain't your, your child. You got no paper for a motherfucker to, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, man, hey, man, make sure that shit ain't my, that nigga ain't my child. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't yeah. even want to do it. Because I'm like, this nigga can always do some. There you go. Well, let's see. Anyway, so moving on. Uh, now, similar to me, I take this in almost the same kind of light. Like, you spoke about that woman earlier, about what she said about the, you know, the bus driver, whatever. So this is very messed up to me in this divorce news. This is Kevin Costner. So his wife, Christine, filed for divorce last week, and supposedly it was an unexpected surprise to him and all their family. And and that it caught him off guard. Um, But it's mostly the reason. This kind of blew me, really, not kind of, blew me away. She claims that because of him being so busy, which, by the way, the show he's on, Yellowstone, hello, that's one of my favorite shows. Anyway, she claims that because he's been so busy, his work schedule that she's been unhappy ever since, um, and that his absence has been very hard for her because he's not around much. What the hell? I mean, so wait, so now you're gonna divorce the man, you got three children underage, it makes absolutely no sense to me. So now you're gonna- Kevin Costner? Yeah. You know he's from Compton. So she's claiming, yeah, Mm -hmm. and she's claiming that she's gonna divorce him. No, that's okay. But anyway, so they have three small children under, all under 18. So what does that say about Kevin Costner? He's still hitting these bitches. Mean? Shout out to Kev. Maybe, but she didn't say that. All the no, other ones. No, I think said he, Kevin Costner chooses fucked up bitches to have kids with. Right. Chew that, A bitch he, is ready to leave you because you working hard. As old as he is, he ain't gonna be working hard much longer. And right. that doesn't make any. Yeah. What the hell? If he's doing the show like that, he must like doing the show like that. Right. Ain't the show called Yellowstone? I love he's it. He's probably yes. excited about being in that type of scenery. That's like. Right. Out there in the wild, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah. this bitch is about her. Exactly. You need to be here with me. Bitch, get your so monkey you, ass out of wait, here. Wait, so now the kids aren't going to see him as often now. Now you're going to divorce. I just, What's the old boy name, man? just turns me off. Um, yeah, Kevin dude, Costner is awesome. Hey, what's the name? What's the dude? Name? He need to bring that Baldwin boy on set so he can get rid of him. <laughs> oh, st- oh, no. <laughs> Ray Carew. Oops. Oh. Hey. <laughs> well, she's not an actress, like but anyway. Ain't yeah. Ray Carew out? <laughs> Ugh. I heard. Ugh. Yeah, he got out. Ugh. Hey, did it? Uh, yeah, I hope he is. And they, and they give it cost in Yellowstone with a yellow bone. That's what's happening. Wow. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, <laughs> That's why he don't want to go. You got to hey, be, you, you be yellow bone in Yellowstone. He chilling. He had a little PA be like, hey, my wife on set, give me a heads up. <laughs> he needs a Latina. Anyway, um, that's too bad. Poor kids. If he had anyway. a Latina, he had 12 kids. He's got three other grown kids and then three from this one, so he got six. He let loose in that monkey. Yeah. Oh, stop. But anyway, no. I, that's terrible. I feel bad for the kids. Hey, man, look. If you marry an unworthy woman, you're going to get unworthy shit. That if you marry sh- an yeah. unworthy man, you're going to mm-hmm. get unworthy shit. But in this case, Kevin Costner working, he's elderly. Yeah. That's like, true. He's elderly. Yeah, he, I'll take that he's elderly he's 70. Fool. How the fuck is he's you going to He's not 70 yet, is he? He's got to be 70. Late 60s, I think. Hello. Okay, well, I don't know how old he is. How old but is Kevin Costner? How are you going to leave 68? 68 years old. Woo, How are you going to leave good. a 68-year-old man because he's working hard? Exactly. That is a scandalous bitch. Oh, that's rub your right feet there. and give you a bath when you get home from that job, Kevin. Just saying. That's yeah. the little shit she could say right here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You're going to do more than that, goddamn. You gosh darn yeah. right. They're going to be sucking toes in that motherfucker. I just, I. Look at her, step in her mouth. She going to bring uh, Shannon Sharp over, too. He's going to be like, yeah. fuck the seat out of that kid. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a good little sandwich right there. That's a good little sandwich. Look at her, you yeah. <laughs> You said that's a good little sandwich. <laughs> Kevin Costner. Do freak, and don't. Get, uh-huh. oh, don't play don't Kevin that. Costner and Shannon yeah. Sharp. <laughs> 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 Woo! Look at that big freak, though. She say she don't kiss and tell. I but, don't. Yeah, she that's because I don't want to scare anybody. Big freak, though. Kevin, let's switch it up. Woo. Hell let's, no. Woo. Let's switch it up, kid. <laughs> well, they start messing with each other, D. You going to still get up. Oh, Kevin my Lord. <laughs> Stop. She ain't going to say nothing. She's going to take Shut a break up. and clean her glasses. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that would be yucky. Anyway. Uh, okay, so um, this is very interesting. So this new study came out. And 
they say that they, this is, it's like, it, it's going to happen, I believe, because it happened on the, the mice. Anyway, there, um, there's a potential pathway for reversing and or preventing the graying of human hair. Right. It just came out last week. So they were saying that what happens is the reason why hair turns gray is because the cells get jammed. The hair follicles get jammed and they're not, they're not able to come out in the same color. So they come, as you get older, they jam up your, in your hair follicles, right. but they're gonna reverse. They did it with mice and it was incredible. So they said the humans have the exact same form. So they're working on this quickly because they're like, oh my God, they just discovered this. So it's well, like- them, ju- them they- beauty supply bitches gonna be at that motherfucker <laughs> with shotgun. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. It, it does. Yeah, it so it's sense. like blocked. Cool hair people... follicles jammed in his face. Your hair follicles are missing. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be incredible if that's the case. So they coming out with this new um, bump off this, that work for real. <laughs> so they're, so they're going to work on it. So it's not out yet or anything like that. But yeah, so that would be pretty incredible if they mm. did. So, hmm. And then the last I wanted to uh, talk about is kind of funny. Made me laugh all week. I've been watching it over and over all week at Dray- <laughs> Draymond Green's son uh-huh. when he called him out. Did you guys see that clip? Nope. Okay, so Draymond Green, when they lost that game the other day, the other night, yeah. um, at the after the press conference afterwards, he was like, oh, yeah, and, and, you know, I've been in the gym hard, and the kid was like, and he was like, he was even with me, and he tapped his son. He was like, no, I, no, you were not. <laughs> and it's the funniest thing if you watch it. Over no, I saw over. it. His son bust him out. He bust him out because the kid even yeah. looked confused like, what? Like, you're lying. He, look, there's the face. <laughs> He turned around and was like, he was like, oh, no, I was not. No, you were not. He was like, yeah, I was in the gym last night. And the I had a joke, but I ain't going to do it. Why? Yeah, what? It what? was hard not to. <laughs> what? It was hard not to. Oh, wow. Know. You guys could joke about us, but you won't. What's the joke? Come on. Hey. hey. That, I never saw that. When I looked up Draymond Green, I saw that the, the afro he had when he's a teenager. Oh yeah, they yeah. say he looked like. Well. Uh, he say he looked like the mama on Snowfall. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, good one. Anyway, so that's. What if he come to school and he be like, the little boy? <laughs> he be like, my daddy did this. My daddy that won the game. Somebody be like, get your ugly ass daddy the fuck up out Oh, stop. Yeah, man. My and God. on another gist, of course, this is loose talk about Bush. It has had to throw that out there. Remember, we did that little um, that that we talked about the wax figures, how they never get them right, how right. they're always off. So they finally did one that I think it's looks pretty point. decent, and that was Rihanna. So they Let's did a see. new Rihanna one, and that wax figure, uh, Madame Trousseau. Which Rihanna did they make? I hope they didn't make the last Super Bowl Rihanna. No, this one is like she's got braids. I think I sent you. Oh my God! It. I think this is one of the best wax oh, figures that they've Craig, done. Look at that! It. I think it looks Craig pretty close. Shit to on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so, he laughed hard because he did. Hold on. Is, that really the, is that really the yeah, wax? Yeah, that's figure? the wax figure. Oh, so good shit. job. Yeah. Oh, I say good that. job. Yes, Madam Tussauds. So. Thank you with that. There you go. Oh, she calling the motherfucker on that bitch. Mm-hmm. And she's Marcus, we tired again. of Yay. you motherfucking giving women credit. Man, that shit. motherfucker find them motherfuckers. You talk about that some wax. Huh? Anybody look I'll free. wax that ass. <laughs> Anybody look like they earned their freedom. Mike, he attracted to them. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the other side of the fence. <laughs> you got fucked so out of job. slavery. Good job. <laughs> who, is the, who, is the, who is the creator of that show? Um, well, y'all be on. Craig? Roast me. Yeah. Shoot. Teddy. Uh, it's a few people came up with that idea, but Teddy Ray, Patrick. Cloud. Cloud, yeah. Man, I'm finna motherfucker try to get me a show on air like that. Like, I got a great idea for this comedy shit, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Don't saying? Don't talk so, about it. Cause they, no, I ain't gonna say it because the busted niggas are called. Then mm-hmm. the extorters are called, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We want royalties on your shit. Mm-hmm. Right, we want royalties, god damn it. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Now, like I, like, I think Roast Me is actually a good show to watch because, like, some of these shows that have, like, MTV um, behind them and stuff like that. This shit be so whack. You be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. why the fuck the good shit is always on the internet? Come mm-hmm. on, TV world. Y'all mm-hmm. got to realize. Y'all motherfuckers got these writers on strike. Oh, a lot of these writers ain't making no good shit. 
Right. Uh, they, they water down the shit. They just following Even a cookie cutter uh, thing. Yeah. That ain't going to do nothing but help us out. If the yeah. writers go on strike, that means next is the actors. Where they going to get content from? It's only so much Netflix. They need real comedians writing them up or in, the, in the writer's room. Niggas well, that really they write. don't want talented people in the writing room. They want school people, people who went to school for it. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? And that's like, like, it's just not a lot of good shit, man. It's time to give the people some shit that they can watch on like an MTV or a BET. I heard BET was 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 bought by some brothers. And I, I just hope that people make good shit. God damn, like in the summertime when basketball and football ain't on, it don't be shit on yeah. TV. I don't give a fuck how many times they play that fucking show. What is the show with the little bitch? <laughs> they be oh ridiculousness. I'm so sick of this little high bitch laughing. Oh, it like, sounds like a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> I be like, man, if you don't get this bullshit the fuck out of Oh, really yeah, you're right. With the writer strike, they, they've already canceled all kinds of shows. Yeah, they they. Mm -hmm. They don't even want to waste the time. <laughs> but they, they, they trying to... Uh, uh, replace them with AI though. Ain't gonna well, that's what, what writers? Yeah. With AI, yeah. Yeah. That's well, they can replace right. almost everything with AI because, listen, bro, everything that you agree to on this motherfucker, when they do them app updates, you agree into all your likenesses, images, pictures, everything in the phone. They can duplicate you. It's just, it's, just, this it's this movie, it's whack as hell in a way, but then it's deep as hell in another way. On Netflix, it's called Young Yi. I ain't heard don't. Young Yi. It's not a great movie, but it shows you what the future is about. They're going to start telling people, all right, you got cancer, but it's still enough to save a piece of your, save your brain where your brain can be used for research or whatever, added to a a, 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 a body in the future. What do they right. what, what do they call a prosthetic body? Yeah, we can save your brain and all like this, right. dude. Them motherfuckers. Let me tell you something, man. Mm. The wicked people of the world don't even like humanity. They don't want you to be in control of yourself anymore. They're going to just have a duplicate of your brain. Right. I know they're going to have a Corey Holcomb duplicate and make people that uh, do blue-collar crimes watch me in prison. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's like, yo, this world, the evil shit they think of, they got movies that show how it's going to be. <laughs> they put that shit in the movies to get us mentally prepared for that shit. So when it come, it don't seem so far-fetched. Right, because we'll be like, well, You don't panic movie, and shit, yeah. like, oh man, this remind me of, you know what I mean? You talking like, to a- you to it. You talking to a doctor, and then you be like, okay, go away. And then the doctor go away, but it's a robot, and you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Here like, yo. What about the whole bots? The whole bots, look, they man. did that in this movie. Them Brazilian bodies, they got robots that's built like that, that you could Fuck. Oh, wow. I think some of them fuck. bad bitches might already be robots. Man, robots them bitches be. robots if they ain't robots. Them bitches do everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, some of these society. bitches smell. You Tell know this ain't no robot. Mm, 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 mm. I'll be like, bitch, your electricity got mixed with the water in there, bitch. You smell like Marcus suit jackets. Under your titties, nigga. That bitch smell like mildew up under there. Smell good up under here, boy, and it ain't wet as your arm now. Right? What, you put deodorant on your titties? Look, he, he, I don't know if the people could see it, but even though he got his arms down, mm -hmm. it's still <laughs> wet right there. That's all right. You ain't going to have shit when I go get this Botox on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll help. Yeah. Some, I know. I know it. I'm just waiting for the money to call. You know, I've been doing these shows and shit, man. We, so I know it just hurt. When you when you be you gotta do this the whole oh, show. Oh, I ain't tripping, man. These motherfuckers see this shit, man. No, but honestly, oh, did you raise your arm again? Yeah, oh. motherfucker, you ain't tripping about this <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> no, but honestly, I ain't it tripping. Is you trying to take a picture of it? No, no, no I'm not. Well, I got, I got. I can't the, see. What is it? I claim my it's flaws, an actual nigga. Problem, like what? it's an actual medical 
problem that he has. What is it called, D? It's called, okay, people with hypohydrosis. You appear to have an overactive sweat gland. The uncontrollable sweating can lead to a significant discomfort physically, emotionally. When excessive sweating affects the hands, feet, and armpits, it's called focal hypohydrosis. You got to watch that movie Airplane. I'm sweating out my impurities, man. You got to watch that movie Airplane, the first airplane. (laughs) You sweat just like dude. I know you wish you you could sweat like me so you wouldn't be so goddamn fat. (laughs) (laughs) You can act like I'm fat, but you ain't talking about the fat where it's supposed to be. (laughs) (laughs) If you sweat like me, you'll be slim. You'll be sweating like me. Are you justifying your sweat now? Uh Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm I'm sweating because it it keep me in shape. (laughs) Nigga, you sweating because there's a hole in your body. Nigga. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what is it called? One more time, D. Hypo- Wet ass pits. Wow. <laughs> Get your hypohydrosis <laughs> arm having that. <laughs> you should tell him when you buy your suit, let me get a 46 hydrosis. <laughs> <laughs> An excessive underarm actually has its own name. It's called auxiliary hypohydrosis. You oh. got auxiliary under your arm. <laughs> no, but that's serious. But you, there are things, though. I know, I know you've, been, you know you've been trying. Did you try the Brella? That's a sweat control patch. They got a patch for sweat control. No, it's for doctor, but you have to get it. They got a patch it. for fat control. You and guess what, you. though? No, no, no. I'm, God, I'm like, serious you, as all hell. Tell and us, dude. Wait, though. It was only cleared by the FDA last month. So it's oh, called, wow. they just cleared it. It's called Brella. It's a B-R-E-L-L-A. It's a sweat control patch for the treatment of excessive underarm sweating, primarily auxiliary. Which He's is looking it up. Dude. Hydrosis. Looking up. They got, I think they got some for uh, the, called the wrinkles on top of your lips, too. Oh, 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 Got a skin mustache. Oh, get your let's hair. go. Oh, now he making fun of wrinkles. Let's go. Let's go, Shouty. Let's go, Shouty. I don't. I don't really want to go too hard on a man that I can beat up. Honestly. That's why, or pick up. So that's why with my arms, not pick up sec- uh, date wise, but actually pick up like a baby. Hey, that's what happened with your pants relationship. You beat up all your boyfriends. No. Well, yeah, I bet you ain't gonna pick him up under his arm. I can't. He slip out. It'll slip out of my arms. <laughs> Your fingernail will be gone. You touch that <laughs> I'd shit. I've tried already. <laughs> anyway, somebody say bacon soda. No, bacon that, soda. No. Bacon soda. Mm, thank you, Air Hoodlum. I appreciate that. Uh, exactly, you was blue. The shots fired. Let's go, Cletus. <laughs> Marcus, I don't want yeah. today. Okay. I was over here There's trying to help. With everybody. I got. I be having a lot of gas, man. He be no, having man. more than gas, dog. No, with that when I go to the bathroom, I be pissing because I drink a gang of water. Nah, I don't know about that's that. That's the only thing about. You know you shit it in there. I shit three. I shit three and times they, a day, but not here. No, I drink they, a lot of water, man. And they Craig. You drink a lot of water. <laughs> hell of Let's water. see under your jacket. Nigga, what you mean? I drink hell of water. <laughs> oh, that and nigga. And they Craig <laughs> shit out his mouth sometimes. Uh, <laughs> that's his issue. That's, 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 that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Anyway, oh, yeah. man, y'all know how we do, man. You got this. You got you got some beats set up over there. Uh oh, we gonna do it. All right, so we gonna take a little break, get some beats together, come back, do this motherfucking another classic. Y'all know how it go. Fifty one fifty. Let me know when we out. The 5150 show. The 5150 show. 5150 show. The 5150 show. 5150 show. The 5150 show. One fifty. 
The 5150 Show. 5150 Show. We on? God. 5150 back in the house. Strange things about to come out of our mouth. We did the research, no doubt. Let's put that bitch out here. Yeah, Craig Facts in the house. Said you don't like bus drivers. Bitch, hush. After our bus, I'm going to put you on the bus. Yeah, that's gonna be how that hook go right there. Uh, come Said on in. And don't like bus drivers, bitch. Hush. After our bus, I'ma put, put you, you on, on the, the bus. bus. How you talk about the hardworking man, funky bitch? Said you don't like bus drivers, bitch. Hush. After our bus, I'ma put you on that bus. How you talk about the working man, funky bitch? I'ma hit you with this bash. With this sweaty dick. Said you don't like bus drivers, bitch. Hush. After our bus, I'ma put you on that bus. Yeah, I'm Corey Hoke. I'm about to stroke him and let this bitch know this dick, yeah, I'll poke him. But look, the bitch could be broke or rich. All I give a fuck is wiping off my dick. Now, see a hoe like you, you think you better than everybody. Talking about how everybody poor and all that shoddy shit coming out your mouth. Be quiet. You about to start a motherfucking riot on the chat room. We don't care about you, Ebony K. This is what real motherfucking niggas out here got to say. You a bitch who hustle men. Yo, soul is dark within. What? Said you don't like bus drivers, bitch hus. Cause after I bus, I'ma put you on that bus. How you talking about the working man, you funky bitch? Come over and get some of these passes on this sweaty dick. Said you don't like bus drivers, well bitch hush. Cause after I bus, I'ma put you on that bus. Talking about the working man, funky trick ass bitch. Come over and get some of this passion. On this sweaty dick. What, what's up, Craig? You don't like the blue collar when they holler. That's a big pill a nigga can't swallow. Cause I get my game right after my father. Four in the morning, waking up yawning, providing for his family. You say he ain't shit, bitch, you need to quit cause your pussy ain't shit. I'm committed to that hard work, bitch, I go berserk. Better take your ass to church cause that's all you worth. Said you don't like bus drivers, well, bitch, hush. Cause after I bus, I'ma put you on that bus. Talking about hard working folks, funky bitch. Come over here and get some of this passion. On this sweaty dick. Said you don't like bus drivers. Well, bitch, hush. Cause after our bus, I'ma put you on that bus. Hey, Ebony, why a motherfucker always gotta be rich? Come over here and get some of this passion. On the sweaty dick. Hey, yeah. Come over here and get some of this passion. Remember last week? I fucked you in the cabin. Now you trying to act like you also did it. Bitch, you ain't even cute. Know your ass ain't pretty. It's that boy Marcus. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, shit. Goddamn Don't me. Don't worry about it, homie. Oh, I'm going to take it from here. Yeah. The funky bitch on all these shows talking crazy. Bitch, tell the truth. Your body is lazy. You be hiding that shit with the fake hair and makeup. Bitch, get your own fucking cake up and understand... Real niggas don't play, and we don't really give a fuck what you got to say. Said Just you. bust down, get naked real quick. Uh, uh, uh. I'm done, bitch. Get the fuck away <laughs> from me. You a bad habit. Bitch, you look like a fat-ass rabbit. Hey, public transportation. You don't like niggas providing in that situation. Ain't that a trip inflation? A pussy is worth more than it has ever been back in the day when I was placing myself around abroad. If I had a job, that shit was odd. But now a job ain't enough and that shit is fraud. Niggas work hard to try to get abroad. Niggas should really be getting treated like they God. But instead, the standards hey. out of whack. Bitch, you need to go back, take your ass yeah. on the track, take them tracks out your hair. Niggas won't fuck with yeah. you, bitch, you built like a bear. Hey, this Ebony, real nigga right here ain't scared. I bet your pussy look like the top of LeBron head. Yeah. And you're getting old, so you can't score that good. Yeah. Bitch, do what you gonna do. I wish you would. See, I'm 5150 show. Yeah. This is the way the real niggas flow. We say what must be said. We say what we gotta do. Hey, bitch, you the motherfucking fool. You about to miss out yeah. on a man that 
Make your legacy right. You want a motherfucker with money. That's why your shit ain't tight on the yeah. show making excuses for what came out your mouth. Yeah. Bitch, look, take this dick from out south. This for that bitch Ebony. Come on over here and suck on this D-I-C. To the K, I don't play. Get on up out my way. Bring the mother kids over and tell them bitches play with these nuts on that ass. Man, it's that boy Lil Marcus. Yeah, I'm halfway uh, charge it to the game. <laughs> like the wet spots under your arm. Boy, you look like you went swimming over there at the farm. Hey. 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 Go ahead. Hey. <laughs> Bitches out of pocket, shit is real embarrassing. And to merit it, some of these hoes is dykes and ain't fucking with niggas, rather have a surrogate. Ain't no diss, I wish the bitch would commit to a dick. But instead, these bitches rather lay in an empty bed or sleep with another bra because they don't want to get wed or bow down to a nigga whose following is bigger than being a leader. Bitch, you too eager, and I don't want to feed her. The bitch is real feeble, and I don't fuck with out of pocket bitches because they people. I'm gonna turn on you. Oh. Put the burn on you. Nigga, raise your blade and then worm on you. That's cut and bounce, my bitch is going crazy. Fucking up on my rhyme, pass it to Mark. Hey, flowing with the Craig and the OG. Look at my boy, just like a purple emoji. Mark. Check it out. Let the whole motherfucking world know. If I'm with a funky bitch like Ebony, ain't nothing gonna grow. Even if she got pregnant and a baby was growing in her body. That little baby, I know it's going to come out real shoddy. I'm going to take her to the stairs on Santa Monica. Bump it to the bitch. <laughs> hey, see Hoka. I'm hey. about to stroke her. <laughs> Even though them funky bitches, I'm going to poke them. But I don't want no life growing through their body, motherfucker. Like licks work, slick work, because I say lottie dottie. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. Yeah. I fucked that up. What is that? Them big teeth got in the way. But home home play. Home. Craig, Craig. Hey, ho, there's a hole in you with a gopher living in it. Cause you a dirty bitch, and your hell, your whole shit ain't got no limit. You'll scheme on your kids, you'll scheme on your cousin, you'll do shit for biz, miss, like cross lines. Cause you used to being around spineless niggas with no mind. But now it's my time to put a bitch in her place. I'm the ace, bitch. All this pimping to be stomped down in your face. Yeah, them Why? bitches be lying, talk about you shouldn't hit me raw. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. I dot your jaw. I don't care about going to jail. I don't care if people know. I don't care if my house smell. I don't care what you got to try to talk about me. God damn it. I'm a motherfucking G. And if you talk about a nigga got on the bus to fuck you, I want to see the people who think you suck. Because I don't trust you. I know it's niggas who got stories to tell about when you take off that wig, how the fuck it smell. Your pillow's nasty because you was talking shit. I ain't making excuses for no bitch. If she say she fuck with niggas who only own the bus, then that bitch pussy is smell like rust. A nigga. And, you can't trust. and you can't trust. Yeah, D. Way to hide it in. Can't trust. Tie that bitch to a tree in the backyard. Have her barking at the birds, cause she ain't hard. Just the attitude she got, cause Pops was gone. Now she thinks she a king sitting on the throne. Bitch, you alone, cause you out of pocket and honorary. Look, your whole destiny is to follow me. And after that, I might let you swallow me. But I'm a fool, nigga, can't let a bitch hollow me. Out, no doubt, I'm here for the rest of it. Bitch, you better start checking yourself and take that You medicine. only fuck with rich niggas, that's a joke. Every nigga you fuck with was motherfucking broke. Missed the. Mi oh, oh, don't worry about it, Marcus. You got two motherfucking bars in. I'm impressed. Real motherfucking nigga shit. 5150 show. God damn it, these beats fresh as hell. Let it be known who made this motherfucker. Say his name. Dialansky in the house. Hey, got them fresh ass beats. God damn it, in loop house. that motherfucker again. We going out to that motherfucker. That's you dig yeah. what I'm saying? We ain't playing. I'm just saying. Sawbuck bitches, we be laying. But look, I'm Corey Holcomb, you dig what I'm saying? 51 motherfucking 50, 50 show. You dig what I'm saying? We been motherfucking going a long time, doing rhymes, talking shit about shit. Don't take it personally, goddammit. Everybody got an opinion about something. It's all in good fun, huh? It's all in good fun up here, you know what I'm saying? 
We got shit going on this weekend out there in motherfucking Minnesota at the Orpheum Theater Saturday night. If Craig really show up, we going to ride the whole wow. crowd wow. loud yeah, and lit. proud. Let's do it. God damn it. We in there. Marcus got the flight lick. He might show up in one of them wet suits. <laughs> <laughs> wet suit Marcus. <laughs> anyway. Let's put it. Let, let, let's let it be known, Craig. What's going on with you? Man, I just dropped that Chill Withers Cluster B. Man, make sure y'all pick that up, man. I love. How, how can they to, get it though, Craig? They can, it's streaming everywhere. I don't know if it's possible for me to play a song on here one of these days, but the chill. We can't play it because them motherfuckers will flag the shit. Oh no, no, I got, I got all that shit taken down. They ain't gonna flag it. Okay. All right, well let's try it next week. Yeah, let's yeah. try. Next week we gonna play a Craig song and. And we got to get the paperwork where we don't get flagged because they be on that bullshit. Yeah, they do. Just because, yeah. you know what I'm saying, it's yeah, on yeah. iTunes. I already know. I know how it go. Chill right. Withers Cluster B, pick that up. I got some tour days coming up, too. I'll be at the... I got some tour days coming. I know I'll be at Broadway in New York and uh, and, and some other spot, man. I forget, but I'm going to... We going to post that shit. Dates up coming up soon, man. We'll see y'all in Minnesota this weekend. That's what's up. Craig, coming to Minnesota. The Craig Fack attack on the stage, bringing rage. Talking about everybody in the crowd. They gonna get played. Hey, make a bitch do the splits, like Johnny Cage. They did what? Get it on the store. I'll, bring, I'll bring some hats to sell. Even though them theaters be trying to take the money. But uh, I'll bring some hats to sell this weekend. Marcus, what the fuck they need to know, for sure. Man, first of all, shout out to Memphis, man. Chuckles in Memphis, man. We went up in that bitch. Boy, we had a ball in that bitch this past Sunday, man. Uh, in uh, about three weeks, man, I'm gonna be in uh, Birmingham at the Star Dome, man. Uh, May 26th. So pull up there and for show sure at the Ontario Improv June 7. I got more nice. dates, man, but you can go on my link tree uh, to look at all the dates, man. I got more I'm adding. Uh, mainstream tomorrow, 6 o'clock. PM Pacific. I'm talking about you know Marcus on YouTube. Y O U K N O W M A A A C U S. Well, that's an ugly ass face on that man, picture right there. You, <laughs> I got more days than that. I got Baltimore. I got North Carolina. Tommy T. Goddamn me. Uh, uh, I got Washington, New, uh, Broadway, New York too. Uh, man, I, hey man, it's up, man. It's happening, and the people showing up to these clubs, man, and I'm tearing that bitch up, man. So if you see me coming to your city, come see for yourself. Know what I'm talking about? Come see for yourself. Hell we ain't yeah. got to talk about it. Yeah. There it is. 5150. Darlene, you want to read what's on the side of your glasses? What's on the side of my glasses? What do you mean? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just talking I just want to remind shit. people, though, it is Mother's Day this weekend, right? Buy your something. You can go to the uh, 5150 store. This is the last one of these. Oh, we ain't take that shit off sale? What do you mean? Is there a lot of shit left? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, and it's warm, because people stop buying. But you can hold on to it. Winter's going to be right, right around the corner. What, it ain't no summertime out here. It's cold as fuck in LA tonight. It's still cold, right. It's actually my rain. It is very uh, dark out there. It ain't Don't no summertime. Mother's Day. Buy her something so she can slay all day, OK? All right, D got the four bars in. Hell no. Mm. Way to go. I see what you're saying, D. All right. 5150 in the house, man. Hey, this is a beautiful thing that goes on on this motherfucking airwave. You dig what I'm saying? We live in a time where you can motherfucking stream to the motherfucking world. It be people from motherfucking Dubai saying I saw the show, goddammit. Oh, yeah, man. This is a beautiful time as far as it go with getting the message out there. Let somebody know about the 5150 show or any show that you like, goddammit, because it don't be shit on TV. Yeah, man. A few people stop me. Uh, in airports and in, in, in public, all oh, this past weekend, man, just everywhere, man, and somebody spot me. Hey, Morgan. See? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's getting. I know you, you get. I'm gonna buy you them time. arms that go on a cast. I want you to tell me how long that shit lasts for a cave in. Man, fuck you, man. <laughs> when well, I, I go get this LASIK, and then I go get this uh, Botox, I ain't gonna wear it. Get the Bella, get the Bella Okay, I'm gonna start acting the Craig on y'all there. Light yeah. skin. Oh, <laughs> not me, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Happy Mother's Day. I got a couple of them. That's 
Happy Mother's Day to the, all the mothers that kept them kids too. Yeah. Kept them and raised them well. Yo, appreciate everybody, man, for supporting us, man, man. This That's is right. this authentic, man. This straight out the box. This ain't no rehearse. That's I'm right. Abe had to do everything tonight himself. I know. Look at Abe so low. And them what shoes, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which I ain't even seen. <laughs> he did it in them shoes, uh, the vampire in Brooklyn had on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, and it's frozen, Abe. Sorry, but he's got his hands full. He's over there scrambling. He's doing all kinds of things. Abe worked hard tonight. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, whoa. We missed all that. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's like Mark is dripping. Yeah, I think they talking about the swag on that one. Is you know, it? Yeah. Tyree, IG, Chief for her. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's, my, nigga, that's my nigga in, in, in Columbia, man. He's he pretty solid, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, Columbia. Uh, uh, Columbia, Columbia. Columbia. Metal appreciate like y'all. How many was in that chat room today, man? What? Nine thousand. Niggas fuck with us a little bit, man. They fuck with us a little bit. A Big light. feel in the house, light. trying to be cool and shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's empty in here, man. We finna get the fuck up out of here. Look, I want to say to all of the children who are raised in the ghetto, chances are you ain't gonna be shit. But don't never give up. 5150 in the house. That's right. Stay safe. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Hey. Better mom. I can bitch. Like some newborn puppies. I still on. Bitch.